Hello everyone, my name is Mercas. You might have seen me on this channel a few times before. This is Instant Logic with me on my right. He uh, is a legendary speedrunner. If you missed his run yesterday, go check that out. Uh, I'm gonna... We're gonna go straight into it, so I'm just gonna count down. So, three, two, one, go. And then I'll explain the rest. I'm gonna be running the entire um, Ensign Trilogy. Remaster, uh, all three games, 90%, back to back. Um, it's gonna be a lot to explain. So I'm gonna start by saying that I'm just gonna be jumping, because that's like the fastest form of movement in this particular part uh, of the run. I'm gonna try to get as many boxes as possible while just going as fast as possible, because um, at the end of Crash 1, boxes fall on top of your head, and the more you the more boxes you clear out, the less fall on your head, so it's slightly faster. Um, well, a lot faster if they're in your way. But uh, I might go out. You might see me go out of my way a few times during this run to get some boxes, just because like I have to wait on an upcoming cycle or something like that. See, so, yeah, Logic, feel free to introduce yourself. Oh yeah, so I am into Logic. Um, the, my correlation with this game is uh, I ran an event called Splash HD, where I would uh, showcase crash runs, and Merkaz was a common common feature on that show, and it was nice uh, nice enough to ask me to help. I'll do my best. It should be a fun time. And as Merkaz uh, said, for, for Crash 1, just for the early stages, we're going to be seeing a lot of uh, jumping and spinning. The mask management here is also very important in Crash 1. Um, the first stage basically gives you a free triple mask, almost a, a tutorial triple mask and it carries over for a certain amount of levels so Merkaz is going to be making sure as he said earlier to kind of take some some curves in his lines to kind of pick up as many boxes as he can and right here actually stool until the uh, third mask combo ends to then restart it to uh, to carry on. So this level I'm going to try and keep this mask through a couple of rollers that are coming up like soon. Um, my movement in the early beginnings of the level does not matter because I have to wait for that mask, but this is the cycle I want to make and I made it without it, any issue. So that's uh, that's like a sign that your movement was uh, Crisp. pretty good yeah. through the level. Crash 1 is very, very dependent on cycles. Merkaz is going to have to play at the top of his game to hit the best ones possible. Um, missing a cycle in some levels can be pretty detrimental. Uh, for the early stages, it's not that bad. The rollers, uh, they're pretty quick, so only a couple of seconds would have been lost, but some cycles on later levels, like moving platform cycles, are pretty devastating if you uh, if you miss them. But so, um, we should be good. <laughs> the the run's going to change a lot throughout, like, from Crash 1 to Crash 2, because movement changes a lot. Because mm -hmm. um, we get a slide eventually, but currently we're just going to be jumping and spinning, which is like a meme in the community would where everyone would just meme on Crash 1 for just being jump and spin. It is a lot more complicated than it looks actually. Like, the amount of uh, optimization this game has is uh, completely wild, but uh, I'll try to make the Crash 1 boys proud. <laughs> we, can, we can always just chime in on how much you jump and spin and then laugh. Yeah, and exactly. Then move on. <laughs> I, uh, I am mainly a Crash 3 runner, um, well, obviously I do run all three, but uh, my primary focus is on Crash 3. So this mask isn't useful, so I'm just, oh, I overshot a jump, usually I jump away earlier there, so now we're going to see the entirety of the start stage, or the end stage without triple mask, so that's going to be a lot of fun. Ooh. Um. So this is how it would look without Triple Mask. But I guess it's a good, uh, well, quote unquote, good thing I died so that I could show you how slow it is without Triple Mask. Oh yeah, we're showcasing here. Yeah. So yeah, it's all exactly. good. <laughs> so the reason why I jumped there, you might think, is like, oh, that wasn't, that wasn't a smart jump. Like, why would he jump only for that? Um, is it, you try to fit as many jumps as possible. That's not a jump I can ever say I've failed, but you know, first things for any, for, <laughs> first things what am I trying to say first time for everything first time for everything sorry English is not my native language <laughs> <laughs> we'll just blame it on marathon luck and move on exactly I always have like the worst marathon luck mm -hmm. um, so I'm hoping it would turn around this time um, so in these levels like the boulder or chase levels you will see me especially try to like 
uh, always like hug the corners as like where the level is turning. So if it's turning to the left, I'll hug. Uh, I'll hug left. You can see me move crash where I think it's gonna turn because that's gonna allow me to do a bit, be a bit faster here. Um, this is like probably the most boring part about learning Crash 1. It's like learning these like lines you have to take in these levels because let's be honest, who likes these levels? <laughs> uh, it's really dependent. Oh, for, for Crash 1 on a low, medium and high level, it's all about the lines you take. Crash 1 is, uh, Crash 1 is very bare bones, at least for the um, majority of the movement of the game, where it's just jump, spin and lines. And as Merka said, maybe it isn't a, a beginner's treat, but it's definitely one of the it's one of the cooler things if you're going for high level stuff, the kind of corners you can cut and the lines you can take. Certainly. And uh this game has two two very like cool and stylish looking tricks down like a bit more late game, mid to late game I would say. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and get a jump here. Um Okay, Ooh. I got it. Spicy That's though. uh it's, uh, that's a common, like, death jump. Uh, but one thing that I haven't touched on yet is uh, a floaty jump. So in Crash 1, sometimes you can get a floaty jump from, like, a small lag spike or anything. Floaty jump is basically a jump where you float a bit extra, so you go a bit further. Um, you can... Every time you enter a level, you start in floaty jump mode. So... That means that you will do floaties all the way until you spin. I'm gonna go a bit off this leaf and try to trigger this other leaf early. And that will allow me to jump oh. earlier. And I, uh, that was completely my fault. Uh, <laughs> that was a complete mistake by me where I didn't hold X long enough. So I just simply missed the leaf by a bit. So now you see that I have to wait on this that I otherwise wouldn't if I did a uh, manipulation correct, but, or jumped correctly. Um, and yeah, you see Crash getting bombarded with boxes. Mm -hmm. My well, back would also hurt if that <laughs> happened. I, I think the, the time per box was a 0.25 or? 0.15, 0.15 I, yeah. I believe. Okay, so although it may not seem like a big deal, obviously when you stack those numbers and you miss a couple boxes per level, you're gonna be losing a couple seconds over the run. And Mercas is making sure to never uh, go out of the line for those. This is the first boss we will be doing today, Papu Papu. He doesn't, as you can see, he doesn't have a lot to him. <laughs> spicy stuff there, Mercas. Yep. Spicy stuff. Extremely difficult boss. Had uh, me sweating there. Jesus. <laughs> so you just jump on his head or back or whatever uh, part of him you can jump on. Sometimes you will jump on him and he just kind of bounces you off very annoying uh a very unfortunate part about me dying in the end of um the leaf level or whatever you want to call it is how i won't be having masks for this part now i'm also a bit behind the cycle so this is gonna be a bit hard to catch okay Ooh. and i missed it but that's fine because i already did lose the mask earlier so uh this is just gonna be a very uh rough level i'm gonna oh well i uh was gonna jump on the tnt to take all those boxes but i'm not gonna bounce too much because bouncing is slow might have been faster to take it uh but at this point i just want to move forward i want to get past the first island of the run it always makes me nervous <laughs> <laughs> yeah crash one's early game is definitely <gasps> oh i thought i waited long enough that was but that is a very though. short death, and we the masks are fine, so it does not really matter. Yeah. I'm just showcasing the different death animations for you guys. <laughs> uh, better to get it out of the way in Crash 1. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to die too much in Crash 2 and 3. So uh, if Crash 1 is a bit uh, iffy, that's fine. The, the, the unfortunate thing when uh, Crash gets hit is that he'll have a little bounce to him. And uh, as Merc has, uh, he wanted to kind of stay on that railing, but that bounce forced him to jump. And uh, I guess the jump kind of messed up his trajectory and sadly just couldn't cut back to the, the ramp in time. A really difficult thing if you're doing these platforms on the edges. That was also extremely tight. Jeez. Yeah, uh, I did cut it a bit close there. Uh, with that, that damage uh, jump that Logic was talking about is actually something we will... Uh, 
we will take advantage of in Crash 3, mm -hmm. uh, specifically Crash 3, um, later on. So um, just come back in like two hours and see how <laughs> that's done. Everyone's excited for Warped. Oh. <laughs> yeah, here we get a taste of uh, Crash 3. It's uh, a vehicle, you know, Ooh, yes. we all love the Crash vehicle levels. Mm -hmm. I actually, a lot of people do not enjoy them that much. Um, An acquired taste, I think. Yeah, it, it's like, oh well, they have the horrible bike levels, the horrible plane levels, the uh, Coco jet ski levels, like all of that. I um, actually like them. Uh, I don't mind. They all have their different, like, way to, ways to be optimized, and uh, they're not bad. I try and sneak past that Jeez. guy. Uh, so, one thing uh, you might be wondering in this level specifically, I'm gonna avoid one box, or I did avoid one box. It's because it's. Um, I wanna get as few boxes as possible to um, bounce on my head or land on my head. But I do not want to get them all, because getting the gem is a very slow animation. So now you're going to see one box fall on my head and I can instantly exit. So like that, that is the fastest way of uh, doing it. So if I could do that in every level, that would be great. But unfortunately, it doesn't line up that well. Mm -hmm. the, the fun thing about Crash 1 is mask management, although being very important, is actually reset on Hog Ride. Uh, and we'll actually, uh, we're kind of getting back to it, so the deaths with mass management should not be up. Alright, I tried a turtle snipe there, um, to use the turtle to, or spin the turtle so it would snipe up to the box and made me make a cycle here. Uh, sadly, I missed it, and I also stopped a bit, so I'm not gonna make the cycle. But, there, we do need one mask exiting this level, but thankfully there is one further up. The issue about this is that that makes uh, this level extremely difficult. It all it already is extremely difficult by normal means. So, uh, who hasn't struggled with this level if they play the game? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, these kind of levels are a bit sketchy with these uh, spiky pillars and the flames. The flames uh, hitboxes are actually kind of deceiving, and a lot of um, starting runners, even mid tier runners, I'd say, can kind of get tricked by. It. You see, Merc has kind of take a little stutter there. If you try to commit to that, I'm almost certain he would have got hit by that flame. Yeah, I do not want to mess with the flames too much because uh, I tend to get hit and if you get that weird bounce and you don't expect it, you're probably dead most of the time, as you've already seen happen twice. Yeah. So uh, I think I've done a great job of showcasing how <laughs> not to uh, how not to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so we're going to cheat a bit. <gasps> Just going to nice. ignore the obstacles. <laughs> I can't believe you do this. I, I remember the first time seeing someone do that, I would be shocked. So I'm going to wait here on these, because it actually lines me up on a better uh, cycle here. So I should be able to make that, yeah, and then jump over here. Something so, you're going to see Merkaz doing is actually spinning before landing on the torches. That actually cuts the little bounce that you get from the torches, which just makes it a lot easier to control crash. And uh, the, the jump being sure allows you to hit the ground faster and just start running sooner. I actually thought I would get hit there, so I stopped to like line myself up again. Mm -hmm. I was afraid of the bounce. So, I will hold X while um, bouncing on those metal crates, but you can stop holding like around midway and it will cut the max bounce a bit short, so you will land on the metal boxes a bit faster. Just like a small optimizations to it. I'm not very good at it, but uh try my best. It's like it's not really super needed in most cases, but it's a nice thing if you're a bit behind, especially. So um another leaf level, I guess to call it river level is probably the more <laughs> I like I like leaf term. level. Anyway. Leaf level, yeah. <laughs> you just stand on leaves all day long. So um after this Is it time comes... for a quick donation? Yeah, 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 you yeah. can, you can. Okay, I've got a $15 anonymous donation with no comment, but thank you very much. I also have a $75 anonymous donation saying, Good luck, Merkaz, on your run. And show the world what NST is all about. Thank you very much, Paul. Yeah, thank you for that. Uh, those donations very sweet of you guys. Yeah, I appreciate that a lot. And uh, I've already done died three times. I think I've shown, like, everything NST has to offer at this point. <laughs> uh... <laughs> No, it's, uh, 
it's a great game. It has its tech issues and, you know, frustrations. Um, but uh, it is, it is like addicting fun. Um, and uh, I did get quite a bit of help of the world record holder in this category to... Uh, he will probably be very ashamed of me at this point. <laughs> I'm gonna make him proud, I promise. <laughs> He's just crying at home behind his monitor right now. Bless yeah. Him. <laughs> uh, so, the red piranha plants, or what you want to call it. Uh, piranha plants is Mario, but excuse me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the the, 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 the man-eating plants? I don't know what to call them. Uh, the purple ones are, they react to you, or the red ones react to you, the purple ones are on the cycle. Um, I'll talk more about cycles and you will go crazy about hearing me say cycles throughout this run, <laughs> I'll say that a lot. So, Ripper, I'm gonna try and that should be good, I hope. Ooh, okay, damage. it's good. Perfect. Uh, so I'm gonna damage abuse here. That's this is where I mean. the uh, two masks come in. Merkaz was uh, talking about mask management being important, leaving one of the prior levels, and that's because he actually wanted to get a spin off on the TNT, but still carry a mask after Ripperu. Did a very good job there. That's a very fast uh, Ripperu. I'm glad I am horrendous at this boss. <laughs> I did a practice run before I left home, and I lost a minute and a half to this boss, and I was <laughs> very sad because uh, once you mess up like your setup for it, it's like. Trying to guess where the, or not guess, but like trying to guess the timing of mm. where the boxes are is uh, difficult. So in Lost City, we actually have to get every single box here because um, it gives us the green gem. The green gem is used for skipping a level later on in the run. Ooh, that scared me. <laughs> yeah, that is a scary one. So I will be going into the bonuses as well. Mm -hmm. And although it, it may seem a bit crazy because Merkaz was talking about, you know, the gem animation being slow and like grabbing the boxes that are kind of out of the way being a bit weird. But uh, we promise you this green gem is extremely important for one of the later levels and all the time it will take to get them in this level is immensely made up in the level that we use it in. Okay, I managed to sneak past the bats. That's really good. So I have two masks so I can do a damage abuse later on because I don't want two masks exiting this level. So let's see if we can make this. Oh, Ooh. all right, we got it. Uh, I think this is also uh, the first sighting of, uh, so we have Torna tokens, which is the... Ooh. So what happened there is that I tried to go for a skip um, that we call rotating platform skip. <laughs> um, it was found by the world record holder, Casually Clutching. We don't really have a good name for it. So yeah. um, if you want to give it one, you're welcome to. <laughs> He will absolutely... Uh, yeah, your phone's going to be having a lot of DMs soon. <laughs> He's not going to be happy. I'm very excited to see what he quick. has to say. <laughs> but I yeah. just wanted to say that the... Uh... Go ahead. Oh, yeah, I was just going to say oh, the token uh, showcase is actually um, one of the special levels. Uh, we have the Torna tokens, which is like our basic minigame level. And then we have the, um, the Embryo tokens, which is like a, an advanced... Uh, minigame level, Mark has it very well to get all the boxes there. If I die in Again. this level, like Crash One's gimmick, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, just gonna explain really fast. If I die in this level, I gotta redo, or I gotta redo or skip the entirety of the level, because uh, the boxes don't count if you die. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to say that that $75 anonymous donation actually put us over the 40k mark. Ooh. And a, oh. little, a lot closer to, yeah. Plus the uh, total from ESA 21, I believe, Oof. is around 40k if I'm not mistaken. Very nice. That is amazing. Yeah, thank you guys so much for that. It's only Thursday, so there's a lot to go. Yeah. It's for a really good cause, so make sure to you get your donations in. So this bonus is a very tricky one. I'm going to try and... Ooh. Okay, that's perfect for me. So there is yeah. another... <laughs> That's uh, what you want to see right there. There is another way of doing that uh, specific part, but it's a bit riskier, so I tend to go for a bit safer strat there, because uh, just don't want this level stressing me out. That's fine. 
That has actually never happened to me before. That's fine. <laughs> that mask would have been nice. But, uh, so this is why I really wanted, uh, or I'm glad I had an extra mask there. Because uh, if I would have died to that lizard there, I would be very sad. Yeah. That, uh, then we would have gotten all the boxes for absolutely no reason. Mm -hmm. There is actually, like in the level we skip, um, there is actually like an insanely cool glitch, like an out-of-bounds glitch. But uh, sadly won't be showing that. Because <laughs> we will just be walking on the green gem platform and skipping it all. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing about uh, Crash 1 uh, as a speedrun is the majority of it is uh, somewhat played in bounds, which I know is a certain style of speedrun people enjoy the most. And I feel like the Crash games are very versatile in the kind of experiences they provide you. Crash 1 is definitely like by the books, cycle hitting uh, kind of speedrun which is super uh, enjoyable, but then you also have your Crash 2 and Crash 3, which can offer a unique experience as well. Crash 3 especially is a complete different beast in terms of uh, glitches and movement and all that stuff. You will see a lot of it in Crash 2, but uh, mm. Crash 3 is a glitch fest at this point. Uh, it's great. I l love that game. Um, it just gets better and better. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to wait a bit here. With a triple mask, I would like to uh, just skip a lot of this part, but um, when things doesn't go as planned in uh, Crash 1, there's a lot of waiting. Yeah. Um, which isn't the most enjoyable part, but you don't, we don't have like anything to make up for it, like a slide or anything at all. Uh, like the backups are, the backups are slow kind of no matter what you do. Mm -hmm. You've got to kind of stand in shame and watch as the cycle you've could have hit passes you. I get very sad every time I have to watch <laughs> the cycle fly past me. So... Now comes the infamous level. Oh. Um, oh, yes. The, the Dark Souls of Platform, <laughs> as IGN would say. Um, I'm going to use the mask here. I'm going to try and balance on the ropes. If I fall, Ooh, that was a floaty too. Oh, that scared me. Um, so with mask, I want to stay on the ground as much as possible, like what I'm doing right. Oh, okay. Well, as long as I don't die, that's fine. Um, these ropes still scare me. You might think, oh, it looks so easy. Like you don't have to maneuver through it. These ropes are scarier to me. Uh, they definitely are. <laughs> um, you can jump on them, like to. Uh, go a bit faster. It's really minimal jumping uh, saves time. It's like, so I tend to not do it because Crash has like a pill shaped hitbox. So uh, you can magically fall off. And I'm not a big fan of dying in these levels. Yeah. So uh, I'll try to avoid it. So I'll go down here, get boxes. And that level, uh, that level you just saw Lost City. Oh. Ooh, yeah, good yeah, that. Good yeah. cool, that good cool. Um, started slipping a bit because I wanted to jump to readjust and then I couldn't readjust so I went down. Mm -hmm. uh, that level you saw Lost City where we got the green gem, that is the only, hopefully the only gem we will get throughout the entirety of the three games. Uh, Crash 2 or Crash 3 might have a say in that, but uh, I'm hoping that is the only gem we will get. Mm -hmm. So Boulder Dash. Um, this is a extremely boring levels. I don't have much to say, so if a uh, reader wants to say anything, now is the perfect time. I'll go ahead and take that opportunity. I just want to let everybody know that we're raising money for Alzheimer Fondant this year, the Swedish fundraising organization focusing on Alzheimer's research and other dementia-related diseases. The World Health Organization classifies dementia as one of the world's greatest health problems. Just over 47 million people are affected. It is estimated that the number of dementia diseases in the world will have tripled by 2050. So all of your donations this week are going towards a, going towards a great cause, and many of them will get you in to win a lot of fabulous prizes as well. Every little bit helps, guys. Honestly, every little bit helps. So thank you all for the donations so far. Yeah, it, forty thousand so far is really good. If we could hit that goal of a hundred thousand, that would be absolutely wild. Would yeah, be uh, would be uh, incredible to see that. So get it, get the donations rolling. Mm -hmm. 
Also, I want to use this time that in this amazing level <laughs> to say that uh, if you haven't watched Logic's run from yesterday, you really should go do that. It was an amazing showcase. He is an amazing guy and an amazing speedrunner, so uh, definitely give him some love as well. <laughs> Thank you, man. I gotta be careful. So many compliments to some people. I got, my, I gotta keep my ego in check. Christ, but thank you. Like the the event has showcased some extremely entertaining runs, runs that I didn't think I would enjoy. I've caught myself like thoroughly enjoying it. So there's a lot of people's runs that I would highly recommend going through and rewatching from the vods. They're very very fun. It's been a fantastic event so far. Mm -hmm. So Sunset Vista. This is another like. I don't know what you want to call it, like Aztec City? Yeah, Aztec's a good word. Yeah. Type of level. Uh, where we will be trying to get and cycle throughout the entirety of the level. Uh, the cycle is one I think is very difficult, so not in this part in specific. Okay, Ooh, we got very it. Very nice. I, lo uh, I love the leans too, and it really entered the experience. Yeah. <laughs> I'm nervous. I, I get <laughs> nervous when I see those jumps. Here's another one that's gonna be very. Uh, I'm oh, I'm pulling out of that. Yeah, yeah. I was too far back. <laughs> uh, I wanted to try and make that, but I don't think I would. So uh, therefore, I opted yeah. with not going for it. I think that that would have been a death if you I, admitted that. I I think so too. I uh, I think that decision was the correct one. I was a bit behind, so. The thing about Crash 1 is that you don't have... I'm going to do this. Okay. Uh, I don't need that mask. Not now, anyways. Um, and there is two more masks coming up in this level that I will want to take. Um, so, you see me have to wait for cycles like that. So I use that mask to damage off that to save up a bit of the time I lost. Because um, the... If we can catch another cycle ahead, then that's great. I'm gonna use that bounce, that bounce to jump on here. See if I make this. Oh, oh clean. Okay. That was good. We uh, we're on de even missing that first part. Uh, we're on decent pace for a second part. I'm gonna go for some risky uh, stuff up here, uh, so I might die here. Yeah, okay. Oh. Um, I tried spinning to delay your jump a bit. Um, I'll try showing it off again. Uh, it is a cool part of it, so I'll try. Oh, like that, okay. yeah. That is how it looks. I'm gonna have to go off here. Alright. So, that mask is actually a mask I did want. Um, now we don't have it, so we only get one try at the uh, infamous koala glitch. Oh, yes. Um, if I get that, I'm going to be very happy, but my success rate is very low, or anyone's success rate is very low on that trick, uh, to be honest. Not not trying to uh, make myself look better, but uh, <laughs> it's it's a really difficult trick to pull off, and uh, it really, rarely gets seen in Marathon, so I would really like to get it, but we only do have... We only have one try at it, so uh, we sadly just have to move on if it doesn't get it. Yeah, but this is how it happens. The odds are stacked against you, and so you're going to hit it first try. Oh, it's yeah, I, I, I really, really hope that's the case. We also have to uh, turn the game to 30 FPS for a bit for that, so uh, close your eyes because it's not pretty <laughs> to watch. <laughs> if we could have it any other way, we would, but yeah, the, the trick being FPS defendant, uh, dependent is pretty rough. It is possible on 60. But the, the timing for it is absurd, and I, I, I don't think it should be even considered. No, it, it's not. It's not, like, RTA viable to do it in 60 at all. Um, it saves about 30 seconds. Um, so while I attempt that, you can read some donations. Yeah, awesome. So I've got $20 here from Silver saying, Best of luck, Merkaz. I also have $85 from Lexi saying 40k, or yeah, 40k. Indeed, 40k. Thank Seven you so Cortex much, 7. Seven Cortex 7 sends in $5 saying the name Leaf Levels is better. I'll call them that from now on. Good luck on the rest of the run. I didn't get a spin there. I thought I spun a 
So uh, now we don't get to attempt a glitch. So uh, I'm sorry about that. I thought I spun that rock, but apparently I didn't. So now we get to see the beauty of Koala in full swing. Now you can continue the donations because there's nothing exciting about this boss. Yeah. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Sounds good to me. We've got $10 from Clutching saying Nokia skip. <laughs> what skip? Yeah, what Nokia skip? skip. I, I've, <laughs> I've never, have you heard of that? No. That's strange. Anyway. Anyway. Demon Hunter sends in $30 with no comment. Thank you very much for that. And then Elkajir sends in $5 saying, Hey, Merkaz, good luck on the runs. And sorry again, I couldn't be there at ESA this time, but hoping to see you and others at summer. You can continue still. All right. I just want to let everybody know that along with that definitive edition upgrade of for San Andreas later, we also have some bid wars going on for gothic which is coming up for you can choose the language they've got english german or polish there and then as well as escape game fort boyard you can see uh, heroic mode done with that and those runs are coming up sooner than the definitive edition for san andreas again thank you so much for the nation guys uh i recognized a lot of those names, so uh, it's wonderful members of the community. Thank you guys so much for the luck and the donations. Uh, that also one of those people was the current world record holder for uh, Crash One. So uh, check him out for some love too. Casually clutching, it's uh, an amazing runner. Uh, absolutely bonkers at this game. What a word to use. Yeah. <laughs> he's also the same person who's going to be destroying Merkaz's DMs after we um, smeared uh, some bad faith on Nokia skip. <laughs> so. Oh, there's no Nokia skip. Only, uh, <laughs> only rotating platform skip. Um, silver. Oh. And Lexi, thank you so much for the donations as well. And everyone else, you guys are great. What a supporting community. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm getting stuck on everything and I'm oh jeez. I'm behind. <laughs> yeah. So that's one thing. It's like um Crash one and two are my are I'm less experienced in those two than in three. So when I'm like behind what I'm usually or where I usually like to be, then I always get very nervous because I'm not like too familiar with the cycles. Okay. Okay. Yeah, once uh, once you get off the optimal cycle, it, it kind of becomes uh, the guessing game if you're uh, not um, extremely knowledgeable on all the backup cycles, which uh, I guess is a fun part. Is where the uh, kind of unpredictability comes in for runners who don't know the in-depth backups. So I'm gonna try to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we got the bouncer, so it just bonked at the end there. Yeah. So I kind of I was always okay. I wanted to. Uh, kind of like used my knowledge in three to get by and uh, I wanted to show off all three games I submitted all three games and got in I kind of had to go hard into practice in one and two so I have played them a lot the last month but um, still uh, still definitely a bit to go for me in one and two so um, it starts off a bit slow and then hopefully the level will increase as further as the run goes mm -hmm. I'm not by any means bad in one but it is my least familiar one. So I'm gonna get a triple mask here and then just run through the level. Probably gonna try and keep these two masks that I get after this is over for um, the next level, which is a really useful one. So, so here, this is like another one where you just gotta watch the cycles and not get hit by anything because you want you want everything that you have currently and this is a oh, i'm actually jumping further than i thought i would like every I, i'm underestimating my jump but then it's way longer than i thought mocha has also uh skipped a, a potential uh double triple mask there because of uh, the cycles needed it in the one of the first levels where he purposely waited there were no real important cycles to hit but for that level he well we opt to skip that 
uh, triple mask again, just to hit the better cycle. So more I actually left. mixed up my levels. I don't need this mask. Oh, I'm I'm a safe out, mask. out of it. Yeah, safe mask. <laughs> safe I mask. actually want to get hit here somewhere. Uh, we'll try to make that happen. Where can we get hit? I'm gonna do it here. Oh, okay. okay well, nice. that's nice. And then I somehow, oh. I I love I love D-pad. <laughs> I'm just gonna blame it on that. I love D-pad. <laughs> yep, crash one. Uh, <laughs> thought I hold the uh, thought I held left or right, but apparently oh. I held up. Apparently I'm holding up. Uh, I'm not aware of that myself, but uh, you know the the controller never lies. Mm -hmm. No, uh, D-pad. It's another thing. It, it's my mistake, of course. But D-pad is a thing we don't really use in Crash Three. It's more. Of, that's fine. Uh, it's more of a. Um, it's more of a Crash One thing where you use D-pad a lot. So uh, sometimes I uh, accidentally hit like. When I hit right, I hit up as well, and then I go up instead of right, even though I'm holding right mostly. But uh, that's just me fat fingering the button, sadly. So I'm gonna not cut any corners here because I'm too afraid. I don't want to die any more than I have to in this level. He says after dying. <laughs> uh, depth perception is uh, honestly kind of a, a rough thing for uh, Crash 1 as well. So even though uh, Merkaz did slightly make that mistake, I think uh, if you're not too well versed in the speedrun, that can be a, a common uh, cause for deaths when you're, when you're trying to cut corners. Yeah, depth perception isn't really an issue for me anymore. But like I remember like starting out running this game, depth perception really gives your mind something to... Uh wonder about it's it's really bad when you start out <laughs> <laughs> now we don't get triple mask here but we get to listen to the amazing soundtrack it's like one of very few songs that i think is good in the remaster uh people might hate me or love me for that but uh, i don't think the remaster has particularly good music <laughs> you're gonna have more people than cl <laughs> clutching in your dms now my guy <laughs> yeah true um I'm personally not a big fan of Crash music in general. I know a lot of people like the OG games music, but uh, it's just, I don't know. I think there are games with better music than Crash. I, I like the platforming though. <laughs> We've got oh. to say something nice about Crash. Yeah, I hope that makes up for it. To keep the horde off our back. <laughs> Crash has really shiny fur. <laughs> <laughs> Just gotta be nice to him, and he, maybe he's nice to us. Some, another part, yeah. Take that box, activate the TNT. Mm -hmm. Try and jump on the side here. Okay, Ooh, very got nice. it. All the uh, toxic waste barrels actually have consistent positions and where they land, but again, depth perception in the early stages of running this game can become a problem if you don't know about those positions. So, so. Triple, triple Mask would be really nice there because you could, could just jump out. You still have to jump the barrels because if you get hit by the um, if you get hit by the barrels while having Triple Mask, they kind of just bounce you up. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a bit unfortunate that I do not have another mask here, but... It is fine. So we're actually going to wait for Pinstripes to do one whole round. Just why did you not hit him? Because actually waiting one round like that makes him walk less. So that is actually faster by like a few seconds. Maybe some Crash Runners, uh, Crash 1 Runners will correct me on that. But I do think it's like a few seconds at most. It makes you think how the trick was originally found. Someone just might have missed the cycle on accident. <laughs> yeah, and then he got a gold. Oh, yeah, yeah that, great. <laughs> just, just forgot to hit him and just like, oh, that golded? And you can't just stand there. He's not going to hit you. So, uh, mm -hmm. it's another one. So, um, now comes the part I'm uh, pretty nervous about. Uh, yep. This is... Part of the run is going to be the intense one, so high road and then slippery climb to 
difficult levels. Slippery Climb has a glitch. I cannot show off the glitch if I die anytime in High Road, so let's hope I do not. Mm -hmm. Crash 1 endgame is definitely the um, the kind of stretch where you're tested pretty hard when you're any kind of uh, runner to the game. It is a very, very difficult, especially at high level with uh, the glitch that Merkaz will hopefully be able to show off with High Road. Merkaz is going to be trying to stay near the left side of the rope because if he does slip off the rope, he'll hopefully have the platforms to land on. Okay. And yeah, not jumping because uh, of the capsule hitbox that Crash has. If you kind of veer a small bit to the side, you are slipping right off. Yeah, he is very slippery. And if you try this in console and think like, how does he do that? This is, looks so much easier than when I did it. Yeah, if you play it in console, it's 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 bad. It's mm -hmm. very bad to do this. You will slip and fall everywhere. Yeah. Um, Okay, oh, that was gotta a, readjust. That was uh, a scary jumper. <laughs> that was scary. Okay, there we go. That should be it. And that means we have a mask to hopefully attempt a glitch. I uh, would really like to get this, and uh, consistency in practice have been really good with this trick, but, uh, you know, marathon lock and all that, so uh, I'm not extremely... Uh, I won't say with 100% certainty that I'll get it, but uh, I hope I will. So beginning, beginning of the level is like straightforward, just gotta wait for the cycles and... Mm -hmm. And jump and spin. Jump and spin. That is the true Crash 1 experience. <laughs> I'm gonna wait, because I don't know, I really do want to show this off, so I don't want to take any chances of uh, not being able to. Yeah. The, the glitch oh. coming up is a very enjoyable glitch as a viewer there's a, and as a runner there's a lot of science behind it which is extremely uh, fascinating to learn about and uh, I, I won't talk about the glitch prior, I'll wait to see if uh, Merkaz hits it because Merkaz will need silence uh, as, as the glitch is being performed so I don't want to cause any, any ruckus to disturb him. There it is. All right. Let's see. Oh, okay. Okay. Think this is good. So now we gotta. Now we're on top of the level. Now we gotta walk all the way right, and then fall down on the platform. If I fall down at any point prior to that, I will die, and I will have to redo the entirety of the level the normal way. So I'm really hoping that's not the case. I'm gonna wait a bit extra to make sure that I get the portal. I really hope I do. I'm gonna wait another 10 seconds or so. And we got it. Very nice. We got it. Very, very <laughs> nice. I'm actually very happy I got that. Yeah, that, that is uh, one of the one of the best glitches to show off in a marathon. And even though you didn't uh, get like koala, that was a really yeah, good showcase. Yeah, I'm really there. happy I got that. That's that, the uh, first time it's been shown off in a marathon, right? Mm, I don't think so, but I cannot remember exactly like where it was shown either. Okay. It might have been shown at one of the GDQs a while back. But koala, I'm actually unsure. I cannot remember the Crash 1 marathons. So Crash 1 is like the most popular of them. So, um... I don't want to say that no one has done it in a, in a like a big marathon setting because I actually do not remember. Uh, Crash 1 is like the most common one to be shown off. Crash 1 and 3. 2? I don't think Crash 2 any percent has ever been shown off in like a ESA or a GDQ or anything of a uh, bigger size. So, lights out. It has the gimmick of the mask being our light. If we lose it at any point, we don't see anything. Um, there's gimmicks, or there's the no light gimmick in 2 and 3 as well, but we we won't really notice it. Not in 3 at least, in 2 you will notice it a bit. 
the uh, the triple stack mask uh, like power up is re replaced. Sadly, with, with the amount of masks you get, it would be really cool to be able to ha have the speed boost, not to worry about these. Uh, uh, oh, I forgot the word. The pendulums, like scythes. Yeah. Uh, Swinging by. Pendulums. Yeah, that probably a word for it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to call them. Uh, axes. Yeah. A fun fact: in the originals, they can actually like glitch out and move like back and forth, like in front of you. So that's a funny sight. So Joseph Darkness, I despise this level. Uh, this level is really difficult and uh, I am known to die for it, or die for it, die to it. With how the marathon's going, I reckon you're gonna ace this. I hope so, I need some luck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna wait here. Oh, oh, that was damn. a bit of a sketchy <laughs> jump to go for. So there's not that much left of Crash 1 at this point, but um, the run's been alright. It hasn't been too bad, and it hasn't been too good. It's been a middle-level run for me, and I'm uh, pretty happy about it. There's been mistakes, but... Uh, Crash one in a marathon makes me very nervous. <laughs> the, the fact you hit the... Uh, the fact that I hit Slippery yeah. Climb Piper makes me uh, really happy about it. For sure. Can cut the corner there, but I choose to go for the boxes instead. Just not that much of a difference. Um, I'm gonna see a damage abuse that is... that I really think is cool, like, coming forward. So... The mask is always used for something in these games, so either a triple mask or um, oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm cutting it very close. What are you trying to be, buddy? <laughs> like you <were> really. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. Damage here. Walk through this flame. Corner cut there. Corner cut there. We did get. That. This level usually don't doesn't go that well for me, so uh, that is another good one. So now we're gonna see now we're gonna see a lot of boxes fall. Yeah, Crash, Crash, is, Crash is gonna get beat up a bit. Yeah. So uh, be kind can I say Crash something guys. real quick? Yeah. I just wanted to let everybody know that the trio of Bubble Stars plushies, the donation requirement for that is only ten dollars, and that's going to be ending uh, just actually momentarily, unfortunately. But just they do have still have some time, so make sure you get your donations in if you want to be entered in for that. Mm -hmm. So cast the machinery. Uh, extremely long level. We're gonna struggle through it, you know, yeah. not cheat or anything. And uh, of course not. So this is the reason for getting the green gem. Uh, you can just go around, skip the entire level, and uh, that is why it's faster. And it's not like people would think like skipping a level is a lot faster, but I mean, it is a lot faster to skip 20, 20, 30 seconds. So it is a lot faster, but it's not like a whole level length faster because you do get the boxes, you do do the bonuses, etc. Uh, Brio, I'm gonna try a strat in Brio where I uh, force stop him to mix his potion so that he threw his so that it throws his green one so that I can... Why do I... What the... I keep... No, it, you can't spin them. Oh, okay. Like I keep trying to spin them for some reason, and uh, I always mess up. That looked very goofy, though, because you, like, jump, you jump spin, and then you just jump backwards. So I, I thought you hit him and you just went the wrong direction. I, yeah, it looks weird. I already messed up the trick that I was going for, but uh, we can try one more time here. One, two, three... Make him a bit agitated, and he throws his potions right away. Getting close to him uh, has like the unique like close quarters attack, which uh, s speeds up the green vial throwing. Yeah, exactly. He will try to angrily like smash his potions to uh, to uh, eradicate you. Mm -hmm. So another part here. Let's hope this goes well. He will smack down a rock, and I will try to jump on his head. Oh, oh god. Okay, nice. Alright, I got it. <laughs> that was, uh, I thought I was gonna slip off. If you slip off here, you die. Yeah. So, uh... Very nice. There's the Brio kill. And now you see it just Crash just floating in there. So now there's only... 
two, well, three more levels left of Crash 1. Um, the lab, another cycle heavy level, it has like falling pl uh, platforms and uh, enemies we have to snipe into TNT to activate things earlier, and these boxes that open the doors and start the cycles. So, we'll just try to move forward at all times to get every cycle here. The, the dream scenario for Crash 1 is just you're always holding up, you're always moving. The, a lot of the top level uh, top level stuff is just holding the direction you need and that's it. You, you gotta make sure you're jumping is on point and everything. Merkaz has been doing a very good job with some of these cycles. Pretty unfortunate in some prior levels, but he has shown off some really cool cycles. And yeah, uh, specific it ones. has been going. I'm gonna wait here. I would make that, but uh, that is like the cycle I wanna make. But I'm gonna wait because at this point I just don't wanna die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wanna just finish Crash One. Mm -hmm. So uh, a fun, uh, fun tidbit. If anyone knows of the meme of the uh, the file name for the scientists in the uh, in the code. That's always a fun time. I can't say it in the in the marathon because it's a bit crude. <laughs> but <laughs> if you guys want a, a good giggle and you don't know it, look up the uh, the scientist file name. I think it's a it's a known meme. Yeah, it so, is a known yeah. meme. If you have if you haven't heard of it, look it up. It's a good time. Good chuckle. So we have time for a donation now. If you have one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure do. I've got twenty five dollars from Faster Than Black saying now that glitch looked donation worthy to me love crash love this run and greetings from germany thank you a lot i appreciate that yeah that glitch is really cool if it was slipper climb we were talking about it's a great hole extremely hard level you have to jump twice forward jump <laughs> into the portal i've seen people die on that level my guy don't worry about it i've, I've died on that level <laughs> <laughs> did that in uh did that in a 315 at one point um so cortex he uh these green bolt green bolts that he shoots are the ones I can reflect back at him. Um, I cannot reflect any of the others. The blue ones move in like a line, like you see here. The the purple ones he tries to shoot after me, and that's like the gist of it. Uh, this is also my favorite soundtrack. I've talked about how I didn't like a lot of it. This is my favorite soundtrack in the trilogy. Uh, Cortex One, I think it's great. So now we just. Try to be patient and not get hit by these lightning bolts. Yeah. There's one risky one here. Okay. Oh, nice. Got it. And now he does a flurry. It's kind of interesting how this boss can be perceived because um, at a, uh, a low to mid level, it actually can be kind of scary for trying to go for the optimal spins on the lasers. But on top level, it's just an auto scroller. And this is just a bit. Of it. That's crash one. Hey, nice. And now we're going to quit out. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, now we're going to quit out because we've already achieved the end of the run of Crash 1. So we're going to quit out, go into Crash 2 and start right away. Mm -hmm. um, it's faster than watching the credits, of course. Um, we don't get a happy ending, we've got things to do. Yeah, exactly. we we got to move on. we got to time skip a year and go straight into it. And Crash 2 starts now. Can I say something again? Yes. Actually, I just want to say goodbye to everybody because I'm going to be handing you over to Nashlax now. But thank you very much for hanging out with me. Have a great week at ESA and stay safe, everybody. So now we have a slide um, and we will have that for the remainder of this showcase. Uh, Crash 2 and 3. Um, so we're going to... We're gonna do a bit of hob sliding. Ooh, this yes. game's this game's pretty like that's this game's like well-known uh, tech. It is found by Jay Hobbs, which is a good friend of mine and a fantastic speedrunner. Uh, you basically you basically have to do a slide spin jump onto a. Wait, slide spin jump, is that right? Yeah, slide spin jump. <laughs> I keep messing about with the glitch highs and the hops. Slide spin jump on an elevated surface, and then you can see me um, get the speed boost. Oh, yeah. I got that trick as well, that's really nice. And I missed that, but okay. So elevated ground, it's a lot to explain. Uh, elevated ground, 
and then you get this boost and you gotta keep chaining your slide and spin, slide and spin. If you stop chaining them at any point, uh, it drops and you will do a normal slide spin speed. You will see the difference between that really shortly. But I did get two masks out of that. I'm gonna be using that those in snow go and uh, hopefully you will be seeing some double slides as well, which is a more not newly found tech, but it's it's newer if it's been a few years since you watched the run <laughs> where you uh, jump and then you input two slide presses and hopefully you'll get a double slide. Um, it is very precise, so you're gonna see me miss it a lot during this run as well. I'm gonna keep this hop slide over the ice, even though. Oh. I've never missed that with double mask. That is interesting. Uh, well, guess we get to see some double slides right away, hopefully, like that. Oh, that was good. Um, not gonna go for that hold skip now. Without mask, that's really hard, but it's supposed to be uh, really easy with mask, but uh, I guess Crash 2 always has something new to show you. They lied. <laughs> yeah, they did lie to me. Blame the top runners for that, <laughs> telling me it will never fail. So this is the normal slide spin. I'm gonna wait here, because getting squished is very slow. It, it plays. It actually plays out the uh, the death animation when you get squished, regardless, compared to other uh, enemies that hit you. And that squish animation is uh, five seconds. I want to say minimum. It is it, uh, it is really bad. Yeah, it is really long. Heartbreaking. It's another double slide and a double slide. Missed the hop slide, but you can kind of see the difference between hop slides and uh, normal slides. That's why. You, you want to be chaining hop slides as much as you possibly can throughout the levels. Even the dangerous ones, like Murkai's did, like over uh, death uh, death pits. It's just, it's insane how much speed and uh, momentum you can carry for as long as you can. And obviously, jumping on the safe side, you're, you're going to be burning a lot of time over the run. And since there are limited ways of like backing up your hop slide, it, it's worth to go over those pits because there might not be like any ways to get them afterwards. Mm -hmm. So preserving the momentum is really important. That's something I was gonna say, but I uh, I have really bad memories. So I already forgot. <laughs> um, this is hang eight, pretty straightforward. Not that much about it. There's a timer in the bottom corner. It's gonna be a gem at the end. I'm gonna avoid it. Getting gems is really slow, and we want to avoid, uh, or we don't want to avoid, but we don't need to break boxes anymore because, you know. Uh, this isn't Crash 1, it, the boxes aren't going to fall on my head anymore, so why I put Crash through that? Yeah, so if you want to read a donation now, now's the perfect time. Well, hello there, Murkaz. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, a little fun fact that I can say quickly uh, is that Nashlax actually uh, also was the donation reader during my last ESA run, so it's nice to uh, have him for me again uh, at the same time. It's great. It's very nice to be back. I have a $25 donation by Hussein that says, Hi, this is my first time I'm able to catch a run for a game I actually enjoyed playing. Thank you for this wonderful event and all the good times, and glad to be back as well, Murkass. Get it going. You can fit in another one if you have one. I have one. Gamero says, for $10, that says, Gonna catch those Bulbasaurs. And uh, that was right at the end there, because the Bulbasaur prize is now officially gone. So, uh, a very nice catch on that one. Alright, so I'm gonna try and go for a hop slide off the pit here, and I got it. I'm gonna try and go for another one down here. Hopefully I don't die, and hopefully I get it. I did get it, I did get both. That is, uh, as one of the top runners of this game, Stuart says, if you get one, you will not get the other. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I proved him wrong. We got the receipts ready for him next time he chirps up. <laughs> <laughs> There is just an amazing community for this game, and I truly mean that. Um, the HD Crash community is super kind and caring and supporting with every runner, and uh, there is some truly talented speedrunners in that community. Mm -hmm. The NS trilogy, or NST trilogy in general, is uh, absolutely uh, compact with uh, some really great people. Ooh. First so, accidental body slam of the run? Yep. We'll be keeping count. But <laughs> NST has some like insanely talented and very generous and very kind people and uh, I have to say probably one of the one of the nicer communities I've run into over my course of speed running, so a lot a lot of heroes in the uh, NST scene.
so Crash Dash, it's the first out of the like escape levels, I would call them, in Crash 2. Uh, I'm gonna go for a old skip here. We're gonna try it once. Uh, okay, got it. Uh, we're gonna go for another one here. Got it, okay. Dude, you hit those two, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> and then go for a hop side here. Got that as well. Dude, I never get this in runs. <laughs> <laughs> if you cut out the uh, the initial death with the triple mask very early, this is actually kind of a solid Crash 2 star, I will say. This hasn't been bad, no. This has been... Uh, other than that, this has been pretty good, yeah? Yeah. So, we're gonna try and get hob sides where we can. Mm -hmm. Just moving through the level as fast as possible. There's a jump I have to do there. I would overshoot that, actually, so I kind of pulled back a bit. Mm -hmm. It's kind of crazy when uh, Merkaz is doing a very, very good job chaining hop slides through a level where he can't see where he's going. A lot of the um, early stage runners and even some mid-tier runners might forget the kind of obstacles in their way, like the death pits or the barriers. But Merkaz did a very, very sol uh, solid job holding yeah. hop slides and dodging everything. That was a good crash dash. Yeah, it was really good. That was a really good crash dash. So now... Um, now it's Ruparu. Uh, again. Not as difficult this time, but um, he's like, it's like one and a half minutes of just pure, like, waiting, basically. Uh, he has to do his stuff, so uh, if you want to say anything, Nashlax, feel free to inform. I gotcha, I gotcha. So we have a bid war coming up for Gothic in about four hours, and we have German at the moment in the lead for $245, which is about $100 ahead of the second joint, which is Polish. I've never heard that game in Polish before. So if you want to see that game run in that particular language, be sure to put your donations towards that incentive. And if not, there's plenty of other incentives to go for. So make sure to put your donations towards a specific incentive. So we just gotta wait for... Um just gotta wait for Ru to like pop the nitros and then I can hit him. Mm -hmm. So like these TNTs aren't actually dangerous. Like they don't do anything until they explode, so I can just body slam on them or do whatever. The nitros, however, will kill me. So yeah. I do not wanna touch them. You also saw Mark has kinda like bullying Ripper Ru as he was placing his TNT down, just kinda <laughs> jumping into him and spinning him, teasing. Yeah, um so you might think like oh, yeah, this boss is so easy. I've Died to this boss more than I can count. I get so bored, I keep messing around with him. I mess up, I get killed. <laughs> um, it, it's Crash 2 bosses really are, in my opinion, the weakest in the run. So um, they aren't extremely exciting. Now for a level I always dread. It's the second like escape level. I, I really dislike all of them in this game. Um, so yeah, we're doing this, and then we are moving on backwards again. Mm -hmm. And it is this one. It is the one I have the most like troubles, like trying to uh, trying to remember what's going on. And I'm gonna try and get a really risky hop side here. Didn't get it. And I'm gonna go for a very stupid looking hop slide <laughs> uh, really soon on this rock that you see on the side here. And we got it. Oh, nice. <laughs> and oh, uh, okay. we, uh, we, got the, we got the checkpoint. We, yeah, we just uh, we just cuddle with the lightning a bit. Yeah. You can actually get a hop slide of that rock on the side too, but I always forget. I haven't put it in my muscle memory yet. Mm. And then hopefully a hop slide there. Yeah. Nice. Merkaz is actually going to be actively avoiding the uh, the boost pads unless he doesn't uh, have a hop slide going. Obviously, the hop slide or the the boost pads have a certain animation with its own speed cap, which will overwrite the hop slide. But because uh, there we go, we weren't able to get it prior. Merkaz was hitting him, but now we should be good to to hold this one for a little bit. Uh, yeah. So we want to hit the boost pads as large as said, Like, if I don't have a hop slide, if I have a hop slide, I want to I want to avoid it because. Uh, Faster hop sliding. So. Okay. Avoiding those holes, and that is crash. Oh. Other than that, lightning, that, that wasn't too bad. And even that, that was, you know, a few seconds at most. Yeah, very minor. Just hitting the checkpoint prior to, to that was uh, very nice.
So now we're coming into a, another vehicle level, like a bear level. Um, we can jump on the bear and get 10 lives. I, I really hate the bear, so I kind of want to. <laughs> I kind of want to jump on it. Uh, its name's Polar. I, I want to jump on it, but we're gonna skip it. You know, we're trying to go fast, so we're gonna we're gonna avoid it. So, uh, if you have any donations, now's a good time. While I just charge. Yeah, well, I'd first like to mention that ten-year-old me does not agree with the fact that the bosses in Crash Two are easy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they are in the remaster. <laughs> uh, fair enough, fair enough. I have a donation for $5 from Nick with a C that says, Had the pleasure to speak with Murkaz for a bit in the practice room yesterday. Always it's just super cool to see passionate other runners how are with their games. Shoutouts to Logic, by the way, on the couch. Absolutely killing it. And I agree. This run is absolutely amazing. Seeing the entire trilogy here at ESA is just an absolute blast. I'm having the greatest of times. <laughs> Keep it going, man. You got it. Thank you. I appreciate that. That was That's a... Uh... I enjoy that talk too. It's uh, really cool getting to know, having an event in person again and for the first time in like two years. It's absolutely amazing. I'm enjoying it a lot. Yeah, it's, it's honestly really cool. This is my uh, my first ESA tour and the kind of people I've met at this event has, has been amazing. Obviously ESA doing a very, very good job at the event as well. So massive shout outs to them for holding the fort and doing a great job with everything. Are we getting those lives? Oh, <laughs> I forgot where I was going. Uh, air crash. We're gonna death abuse here uh, after we got in the crystal, actually, which is really cool. I'm gonna try like a mine glitch. Uh, I might not get it, and it's oh, minor time loss. It. Yeah, I am going for it. Ooh, okay. It's it looks cool, so I want to go for it. Oh yeah, good man, good man. <laughs> uh, if it looks cool, you go for it in a marathon. It's always how it is. I'm gonna get this checkpoint. I'm gonna skip every other checkpoint. Um, yeah, this is actually. So I'm quite experienced at running Crash 3 in marathons, but 1 and 2, it is going to be, this is the first time I've run any of those in a marathon, so uh, I'm quite nervous about these two entries. <laughs> so getting that crystal, dying on purpose. Um, let's see. Oh, And we got it. That was good. <laughs> that was good. So that mine... <laughs> That mine for some reason just doesn't kill you. <laughs> um, so we exit the secret exit here. So now we gotta go two platforms up. It is, it is faster by a bit, not by like a lot, but it is faster by a bit to actually go through this rather than finish the entire level. So um, it's just a cool little thing about Crash Two. And you may wonder why don't you do that in other levels? They're slower. <laughs> it's as simple as that. It, it, it's not fast. <laughs> that is the only one that saves time. So I'm gonna try and get a triple box hop slide here, and I did get it. You will see more of that later in C3, but um, you can basically like use the two boxes on top to bounce crash into it, and that will like count as you jumping, and then you will get like the the hop slide off the getting bonked. The double slides are on point. I, I say that now, and then they're going to be yeah, horrendous oh. afterwards. The game you know? heard you, my guy. Yeah. You're in trouble now. <laughs> now, you've been doing a very, very good job with the uh, with the hop slides and the double slides, for sure. I'm going to wait. Oh. The double slides will matter more for me in Crash 3. Yeah, as, as we progress through the trilogy, Merc has become uh, more experienced with the runs, so we're definitely going to be seeing um, if, if Crash 1 impressed you, we, we, like Merc has is going to be doing a very good job in showcasing everything coming. Um, I did get hit there. That was on purpose. Uh, I didn't need to. I can just avoid the mask, like the beginning mask in the next level. But um, I wanted to because it, it just makes it easier for me to set up for what's coming in this level. Because I usually just like going for the mask. Coco. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we're not picking up Coco. Coco, <gasps> Coco loses time uh, with an animation, uh, and I just really dislike the character. A lot of people are gonna dislike me for saying that. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> but your your DMs are gonna be full <laughs> by the end of this run, bro. <laughs> your DMs are gonna be like, oh my god. ESA does not condone the endorsement of Coco being a bad character. 
<laughs> I'm gonna get hit here. That is unfortunate. I was way slower than I thought I would be there. So uh, I would want that triple mask, but we're not getting it, so... Well, ESA might not endorse it, but I endorse it. <laughs> you might not be invited back, my guy. You might uh, be in trouble. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, next time I get ex accepted, or if I get accepted, it's uh, on the premise of Coco having to be used. <laughs> oh, Ooh. Another yeah, that, body slam. That was kind of scary. It's the second one. Does anyone keep count? Scream out loud in the audience <laughs> about every time I body slam. Two, three. We'll drop crates on you, like uh, in Crash One, for how many body slams you get in the in the <laughs> in the trilogy Smack run. Smack me with crates after <laughs> the run. So I, there is a damage abuse you can do there, but I opted to not go for it to try and like do doing what I did there is risky. Uh, I wanted that mask for safety for doing that, so that's why I didn't go for the damage abuse on the pipes. Yeah. Uh, hopefully we'll see something like like that later on. Very good job on threading the needle there. It doesn't look like you can thread the needle, but yeah, you, but Merc has had a very good job holding that angle. Hitboxes are weird in this game. Some are atrocious and some are like really lenient. Yeah. So you actually saw me wait a bit for the portal there. If you go too fast to that portal, that will soft lock the portal. Uh, and you won't be allowed to enter, and you won't be allowed to enter anyway. So, uh, not in this warp, at least. So I'm gonna try and manipulate Komodo here. So we just have to spin. I actually don't know who is who. One is Joe and one is Mo. I have no clue who is who. <laughs> but I'm, um, I'm trying to manipulate Joe or Mo into Joe or Mo. Uh, I hope that uh, is a good enough explanation. I think uh, that's the best one you could have given, to be honest. Yeah, that. Joe or Mo <laughs> throws the scimitars, and Joe or Mo is stunned. <laughs> Actually, I have no clue. I, I, I'm so bad with names. And that is Komodo. Two out of the five bosses in Bash 2 done. So that is Warp Room 2. On to Warp Room 3. Um, I don't like this warp room. <laughs> I, I don't like this level we're going into. Who, uh, who does, to be honest? Yeah. <laughs> uh, warp room 3 has like a tendency to be bad in every Crash game. Mm -hmm. If you know about, oh, if you know about a warp room that is a warp room 3 that is good, uh, make sure to tell me because I don't. We've not found it yet. <laughs> Someone's gonna tell me Crash 3 and I'm just gonna be like, Road Crash. <laughs> road Crash. It's like a two minute bicycle, or bicycle, motorcycle level is really <laughs> fun. So with, uh, with with Crash 2, it's not as uh, cycle heavy as Crash 1 was. Crash 2 definitely uh, relies on your uh, movement without demand, I guess that's a way to put it. In Crash 1, you had the demand of hitting the cycle. But in Crash 2, uh, there are still cycles present, but they're not as uh, mandatory as Crash 1. So um, Merkaz will be just kind of plowing through the level as fast as he possibly can without any kind of fear of having to start a step and uh, take time to hit things. Which is uh, very nice. It is an unleashing experience, I guess. You're not really uh, bound by anything for Crash 2. Yeah. I would, I would probably say that pra Crash 2 is the one I've put the least amount of time in, uh, even though it probably does not look like that due to like the movement and stuff, but the movement is actually the same in 3 and 2, so by being good at 3, you're kind of good at the movement in 2, but there are other issues with uh, learning 2, of course, but uh, I do feel pretty confident in the movement of the game, at least. Mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to cycles, there are cycles, just often... it. It's not as emphasized as in the others. Um, this level has a few like pretty risky hold skips. Uh, so I'm gonna see if I can do them. That's one. Go. And the second one failed. Yeah. Not unexpected. Yeah, it's a very, very uh, like high level maneuver there. Trying to oh, it's got oh head to the second time though. It is very, very difficult to get those whole skips. And uh, and I oh. right, went into mine. Uh, right into the mine. That is okay though. So uh, I will be just making my way through this. So if you have any donations, that would be perfect time now. Oh yeah, I'm enjoying this 
heck of a run. This showcase is crazy. So I've had a ton of donations here. I have Kronos with $10 that says, Thanks, ESA, for an amazing event. All the best from Germany. Going towards that Gothic language bit war to actually put Germany a little bit more into the lead. And I have Logic getting called out here by Anonymous, nonetheless, for $10. This says, Logic, when is our Sprash Sus emote? <laughs> <laughs> also, good luck, Mark. You got this. I, I can take a guess on who donated that one. <laughs> I promise it will be soon. I'm, I'm going to commission the best artist for that one. Soon, TM. You can continue for a bit if you want. I have another one here from Bass for $25 that actually has no comment. And thank you so much for all of your donations, everyone. Keep them coming. We're heading towards that 100k that we want to raise for the Alzheimer's Fund. And so every single dollar really helps. And don't forget, all those things will go towards various prizes as well. So if you accumulate more donations during the event, you can actually snack up one of those. Maybe PS5s, maybe a Switch. There's plenty of more prizes, so keep them coming and check out the prizes page for more information on that. It's always for a good cause for charity and also you could get some goodies, so definitely it would. Again, any amount is appreciated and thank you guys so much for the donation so far. You can get the imaginary console that people, <laughs> that people don't think exists. <laughs> It's the unicorn of the gaming world. Exactly. So, Road to Ruin, uh, just like an infamous difficulty level for when pa casually playing through, because it's like so tight platforming. Um, in 100%, maybe one day I'll show off 100%. Uh, <laughs> in 100%, uh, there's a, cool, a few cool glitches in this. Um, where you like get both the gems. You can like literally jump on the platform you see to my left there by like a well-timed glitch high jump. So um, I would recommend checking out the 100% run of this as it is one of my favorite like viewing experiences in, in NST. Oh, I almost. No, that was uh, <laughs> close. Uh, Mer Merkaz has a really good point too. The um, Although Merkaz is showing off any percent, we've got to give some love for the uh, extended categories for this game because um, the completion categories for all three Crash games are honestly a great watch and hi I highly recommend it myself too. Definitely um, a different kind of pool of knowledge is required for completion categories next to any percent, so it's a very good time. The uh, completion categories for Crash are, um, are they're really enjoyable getting all the boxes and they feel really, uh, they feel really like accomplishing when you do well in them. Uh, oh, got stuck to That's a very nice hop slide to start the level. The, the, the nice part about these sewer levels is that the uh, the openings for the gates are um, obviously circular and they will act as ramps that Merkaz will hopefully be able to hop slide off. But uh, hope, uh, hopefully he'll be able to hold it with the triple mask here. Okay, there we go. Merkaz is actually going to opt to skip out on that triple mask because he, he actually doesn't uh, want it for this upcoming uh, segment here and actually wants to carry the, uh, the masks. Ooh. That is fine, but uh, I did botch that jump a bit. Yeah. So, uh, but I, I, that mask is not important, but I did botch it a little bit, but that is fine. That was a decent level. <laughs> it's uh, got most of what I wanted other than the beginning cycle and that damage. So... Uh, now we're gonna get another bear level. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> I wanna use this time to uh, really, really thank the community for being as amazing as it is. Um, being so easy to uh, have to deal with as a mod as well. Uh, and I wanna thank especially my uh, co-mod and one of my best friends, Crody, for everything he's contributed to this game. Uh, amazing guy, amazing runner, and uh, he has implemented more stuff in this run. Um, every single trick he implements does annoy the yeah <laughs> out of us, but uh, you know it makes the game faster. So we we appreciate it. He, do, I, he does it with love. He 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 does definitely not. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he. Uh, Every time he finds a trick, it's like we think he dislikes us for because finding <laughs> it is uh, making it very difficult to run these games. Mm. But uh, he's an amazing guy, and uh, 
it's uh, an amazing community to be part of. Not only the crash part, but the splash part too, which is Spyro and Crash. And thankfully, with the with the help of Logic, we've actually uh, gotten the community a bit closer in the last like year or so. Yeah, about I would year, say, because yeah. um, the HD community didn't used to be that close in those two communities, because they are very different. But now I would say they they are very, a lot closer. Mm -hmm. Crody is definitely one of those standout people as well, as you said, for Sprash. He, he, when uh, I bought him on for a moderator role, he, he took it full force and he, he really did a great job. So yeah, massive shouts to Crody and the NSTC and it was a lot of fun doing Sprash. Definitely the, a more enjoyable time uh, online. So right now, Murkaz is going to be leading Tiny onto these red platforms and just making him fall down. Tiny is a bit stupid and uh, this doesn't understand when the platform is going to fall, so as long as uh, uh, Murkaz, I almost called you Crow, did you? <laughs> as long as uh, Murkaz's movement is good, he'll just lead Tiny onto the platforms. They're going to fall um, in batches at the start and then start decreasing in numbers as the uh, as the battle goes on. As you see there, uh, there's just two of them falling and at the end there will only be one of them. And hopefully it'll be uh, on the nice side for Murkaz. It's pretty forgiving to hit it even if you're in the top right and it's in the bottom left. Oh, oh. Yeah, well, that's yeah, thing one. that was uh, very unfortunate there. Oh, that one too. Okay, then we're good. Tiny is um, an interesting boss because he can troll you. He can like jump in place and he can like skip a platform. And uh, I've seen, uh, I've seen the best of runners lose runs to this boss. You would not believe it, but uh, he functions differently <laughs> he's a different beast he is a different beast we will uh, actually not be seeing tiny anymore in this run uh mm. you maybe think isn't he in crash 3 well he is but not in our version of it he was uh, <laughs> <laughs> he was at one point um so yeah it, behaving i'm gonna be trying to hop side and double side wherever possible and um it's a pretty straightforward level so if you have any donations now's a good time I have some, but I actually want to write, want to talk about a little thing because we have we're doing this because of because of the Alzheimer Fund and we want to raise a hundred k for them and we need all of your help to get there and it's very important that we do so. So the cost of dementia is a global challenge. If global dementia care were a country, it would be the 14th largest economy in the world, and by 2030, it will be the fifth largest economy in the world. So that's not even 10 years. No, it's absolutely bonkers and not just that we can we, we see people getting Alzheimer's at the stage of early of age of 30 at this point in time so every single dollar will help in order to progress the research in order to actually get a cure for Alzheimer's so thank you everyone that donated so far and every dollar helps you have no idea how good it will be to in order to get rid and do say basically game over to Alzheimer Fonden. And with that, I have one donation to say as well. That's coming from Silver for $20 that says, that was a solid, solid Crash 1, Merc has. And I'm gonna give it over to you because there's a question. DS4 or Fish? <laughs> what is it? Uh, and what are they? <laughs> um, <laughs> going into that would be uh, something, but I'm just gonna <laughs> say Fish and move on. <laughs> 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 now you got me really intrigued. Like we have an hour left, you can go full yeah, ham. Like yeah, we, we got time, Mark. What's going on? Like, <laughs> not gonna, I'm not gonna go too deep into it. But uh, during a long marathon run, we did. We were. I was really tired. I think I was like 14 hours into a run. Um, and um, something about what to do with the DS4 fish and fish always fish. Fish always wins. <laughs> I'm not gonna go into it more than that. <laughs> Uh, save me. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're on your own on this one, buddy. <laughs> Thank you, Silver. I appreciate that. I appreciate your numerous donations. Yes, yeah, Silver, you've been very gracious on donations as well, so thank you so much for that. I also appreciate you putting Merkaz on the spot like that. Love to see it. <laughs> it's another ruin level. Uh, gonna go for a set of, like... Pretty complicated jumps moving up. Gonna weave in between the flames here. Hopefully. Oh, that's gonna be. Oh, oh okay. I, I, I am shocked I did not get hit there. Oh, that way. Okay, let's see. Oh. 
All right, we got Very it. Very nice. Okay. Uh, let's jump over this. Mm -hmm. I do not want triple mask in here because, as you can see, there's not that much left of the level. So. Yeah. Um. Let's go for a little reroute. Actually, uh, normally I would go into Cold Hard Crash at this point, uh, but I'm gonna go into Hanging Out because I have two uh, masks, and that is the most important part to get two masks. <laughs> so let's go into Hanging Out. It's kind of nice with the with how the route works out. Obviously, you have your most optimal route, but you also can uh, have a bit of freestyle with it depending on your mask situation. Uh, as Mercat stated, Hanging Out is uh, the, the most advantageous with two masks. So. Um, I don't think it's any real time loss rerouting, and it's just uh, making it easier. It, so get it's the slight time loss in like uh, what's it called warp room movement, mm -hmm. but it's so minor that I actually don't know if the, this particular reroute. Oh my! I am Jesus. shocked. I you're am getting you're getting away with murder right now. <laughs> That's crazy. I thought I was uh, gone. That would be a very sad mask to lose. And here we get the triple mask. This is the best triple mask in the game. I'm. Oh I'm yeah. Crash two runners. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But you can just see the movement just mm. over skipping the entire hang wheel section, which is really slow. And just getting the most out of that mask. Now we don't actually. Now we don't actually... Oh jeez, that Nitro Bounce. Uh, we, I don't think we explained uh, Nitro Bounce, did we? Or do we, no, we want to no. wait until we see it? You can explain it if you Okay. Want. So Nitro Bounce is a, is a, is a common gag in the, uh, in the scene because uh, Nitro Boxes have a, have a little bounce to them. A uh, the little animation just to show they're radioactive and stuff. But sometimes the Nitro will just bounce uh, to the same height that Crash can jump. Which means that if you're uh, jumping over a nitro crate and it decides this one time that it's going to have a little bit of a spring in its step, it's going to catch you out and uh, rob you, I would say, of, uh, of a mask or even a life. It jumps like almost twice as crash as height. Oh, does it? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> or like it jumps over crash. So uh, it, it jumps really high and that can and will. Oh, he. Ooh, ankle's broken then, my guy. <laughs> I, he usually, you can usually maneuver him to go to one side like that, and then go to the other, but uh, apparently my movement wasn't good enough for that. Let's get this mask. Oh, nice. Sometimes when you try to do a half side, you get like random height. Uh, that happens, and then you just have to adjust. This half side is... Oh, if I can maneuver here, it's a really long one. Oh, very nice. Oh, okay. Saved it. Yeah, that, that was good. Holding Ooh. that, holding the hob side for as long as you did that was very impressive, especially with, with the uh, with the holes or the death bitch you went over there. Merkaz actually has to be careful because in that specific colored mud, if he drops one of his slide inputs and spins, he'll actually spin into the ground. It's the, the gimmick of the level to avoid the bees. So um, Merkaz is doing a very good job in uh, with his inputs here. Very cheeky wall hug there, and catching a bit of a hop slide. Hopefully he'll hold this. Oh, that's fine. Oh, okay. That's fine. That that one is pretty hard to hold. So, uh, but actually this level went pretty well. Mm -hmm. uh, usually got quite a few hiccups here, but I can't even remember things that have gone like really wrong in Crash 2. It's like the beginning. I messed up like. Yeah, the yeah, the uh... Uh, the first like triple mask, the second triple mask. I messed that up, but other than that, it's been pretty good. Yeah, it's been really good. Pretty happy about how it's been going so far. This, I would say it's probably PB pace. I'll probably curse oh. it by saying that, but uh, <laughs> I would say it's probably like Crash Two PB pace. Mm -hmm. But now that I said that, you know, like yeah, the beast has heard you. It's it's, it's we're in trouble now. I'm scared. This level is actually uh, a really interesting one because of the ice. The ice uh, is going to play to our advantage, but uh, and hopefully not to our disadvantage. And Merkaz is going to be trying to hold a hob slide uh, over the ice to. Oh, that's three. Count them three. 
interesting uh, height there that ruined uh, my plans. Uh, so we're going to be doing the death route here. Uh, infamously hard death route. But um, that is because this one is a lot faster than going through the, the normal way. Mm -hmm. oh. This is where the ice comes in, hopefully. Uh... Get, oh, it, get the mask a bit cheeky there. Nice one. They're gonna go for it. Ooh, oh, ooh. Okay, fair enough. You can get like a like a freeze frame there, which makes you move faster on ice, but mm -hmm. didn't get it. But that's fine. Uh, gonna try to avoid. Ah, 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 ah. Um, I want to try to avoid that gem, but uh, we did get it, so we're gonna say hi to Brio in the room, uh, in the warp room, which is not my favorite thing to do, but. Uh, mm -hmm. We beat him up in Crash 1, and now he's like our ally. For because he wants to beat up, or beat up, beat <laughs> up Cortex. I'd actually like to see the Crash bosses beat up each other. They're like very small, or Crash bosses are either one or two things: an extremely buff and like skipping leg day, or you know like <laughs> extremely small and skinny. Yeah, it's like Brio and Cortex, and they would have that little slap fight. Some engine. Now, oh yeah, the jump. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so yeah. So this is what. This. Is, oh, it's Cortex. I thought it was Brio. Why is it? It's been a while since you got a clear gem. Then, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. Um, engine. I'm gonna try to get something called double arms here. The chances of me getting it is very slim. One. Okay. One, two, three, three, four. One, two, three, five. Five, six, seven. Oh, okay. Well, I missed it. But that is fine. Mm. Basically, what Merkaz was going for there was he was uh, trying to set up to break both machine parts at the same time. It's a very difficult trick. I was watching him practice this in the, in the practice room, and it's a very demanding uh, trick. And it's it kind of sucks having to watch both animations. But yeah, this is not... Not an easy thing to do, so... Yeah, it is hard to set up, and I'm not particularly good at it either. Uh, but it is like, even top runners fail it. Uh, it is just... a hard trick to do, and it, the timing is very tight. You can... you might be wondering, can, can't you do that with the shoulders as well? No. It just doesn't work for some reason. It does in the original version of the game. Um, and a question I actually got that I want to... talk about is that I got asked yesterday... Uh, if these games were a lot different from the original, it is a complete remake from the bottom up. They are so different in every way. It's, uh, it, there's no comparison mm -hmm. at all. So I'm actually going to use one of these masks to, um, damage abuse. Hopefully not die and kill engine in one phase here. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. So we're already closing in on the on the end of Crash 2, which is wild to me how fast this has been going. Mm -hmm. This has been a very, very clean Crash 2. As you said, PB pace, I, I would leaning more to, to yeah now. As long as nothing disastrous happens, we won't be looking very, very comfy. I think it might... It's going to be very close at this point, I think. But mm. uh, I have uh, had like mistakes here and there, but... Uh, I actually don't know. I would. I will have to retime it when I get home. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember what time we started Crash 2 at? I think it was like a 50, 52 something. I have no clue. Uh, I'm double checking for you, that for you right now. Oh, thank you. It was 52. We're on pretty good yeah. pace, I would say. I RTA, I have, I have no clue to say because like, the loads are different than my own. So, mm. But uh, it's a good, good way to check estimate. <laughs> This is uh, as uh, as shown in Crash One and on the gimmick level with the with the lights. Now switch to Fireflies, which is uh, is very nice because we actually are able to use our mask uh, freely. In Crash One, the masks don't stack, so if you actually got hit, you would lose your light immediately. But now the Fireflies are just on a timer, similar to Crash uh, Crash One. Sorry, but they're I believe on a shorter timer compared to the masks in Crash One. I actually have no clue if they are. Oh. They, it kind of seems. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, they definitely are. <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, Mergaz is just, uh, it's, it's very difficult to, well, very difficult for Hobbslides here because of enemy positions and the death pits kind of 
being uh, pretty wide. You can't skip a lot of these like you saw me do. Like you've seen me skip a lot of them and it, a lot of them are just not hard. Did you see that happen like that? That's just me failing a double side because the timing is tight and sometimes that just puts me in a... Oh. <laughs> that was a fun little start at the end there. <laughs> that was a interesting level. So now that we have two masks, we're going to go into maybe the hardest level. Uh, depending on like what you think. I... I personally think it's very hard oh yeah so we'll see how that goes uh these levels are notoriously difficult and um they're i don't know what you want to call them the tentacle bots i think that's a the tentacle bots that are in this level are uh have notoriously bad hitboxes yeah the, the hitboxes are extremely scuffed sometimes i say sometimes a lot of the time you're going to be uh, getting robbed. Merc has right here, trying to hit as many hop sides as he can. Taking the triple mask as far as he can is very, very important for this level. No! <gasps> <laughs> All right, so I buffered a slide there, and uh, it, it, it ended up just being a body slam instead of a buffered slide, which is unfortunate because that was a good beginning. It's heartbreaking. Jesus. It's not too bad of a death, but I would like that mask. Um, now we're in scary territory because uh, these uh, the tentacle enemies are gonna. Merc Mer has is skilled enough to be able to make it work, but there are times where even the most skill can be implemented. Sometimes you're just gonna get robbed out of a out of a hit. I did not get my slide there, and that scared me. Oh, you're on a Ooh. very bad cycle. <laughs> yeah, that's a good call there. And then just making sure these guys don't hit you. I'm gonna wait. Yeah. The, the tentacle bots have like no, like insanely bad hitboxes. <laughs> it's it's not even funny how bad they are. Yeah, they definitely have the mismatch where visually they they've switched their like pattern, but you're gonna slide into them and jump on them and get hit anyway. And yeah. It's yeah. A, a very common place for for molding. Lord copium has been uh, ingested because a of these lot, levels. A lot. <laughs> it's also a funny thing. Um, it's also a funny thing in that level, where uh, in a hundred percent, do you know how we? Why did I go? I was not supposed to go in here, but that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> we can go in here. That's completely fine. Um, a lot of the um, what was I talking about? The nitros. Mm. Uh, in the hundred percent of that run, or in this run. There is a um, there is a possibility like you skip a box. I'm actually gonna get hit on purpose here and then use that. Oh, very nice. Go through this and keep that open. Uh, the nitros can bounce and scam you out of a box that they were supposed to break. If they bounce at the exact same moment and you hit the nitro detonator, the you won't get the box. So in that level, there are 69 boxes. Hey. Uh, <laughs> uh, and you will just get hit by the random 60 out out of 69. Uh, 60, 60 out, 68 <laughs> out of 69. Uh, and it's uh, unfortunate because uh, that just means that you uh, have to do it again. Speaking, or, speaking of unfortunate, that losing that master. That's fine. Yeah, okay, uh, I died. You? It was the checkpoint was right there. Yeah. That's not too bad. The that mask is not necessary anymore. Mm. That I already yeah. messed up the level order. That that small stretch there is very demanding, and uh, as Merc has stated, he managed to hit the checkpoint, which is good. But if he was uh, a little, if he had died a little earlier, that would have been a very devastating death. I am. Fairly certain this is not PB anymore, but it is still a pretty good run for me. Yeah, we're still cooking right now. Even with the mistakes that have been made. So, jetpack. I don't know what to say about these levels. They don't <laughs> work. Uh, <laughs> they uh, People tend to like them in the original games. People tend to hate them in the remasters. Uh, valid opinion. If you disagree, uh, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to, if you disagree, donate and have the <laughs> have the the donation reader uh, tell us. <laughs> yeah, uh, when we talk about that, you, you have time now, Nashlex. If there's anything, 
Yes, I do. First, I'll tell you a little bit. Uh, here I have it. You started crash two at 52.32, so that's your mark to keep an eye out on. In the meantime, I have a donation here of $50 by Tomadin, who says, Crash has always been one of my favorite franchises. It's great to see Murkash showcase such an awesome trilogy for a great cause. Good luck on the remainder of the run, Murkas. And that one's going towards Death's Door, any percent current patch, Umbrella versus Bosses 1. And I can tell you a little bit about that, because that is one heck of a run. You want to see a crow fight bosses with an umbrella? I do. That's an amazing feat to actually accomplish. There's a ton of great incentives out there, so keep them coming, and keep putting them towards some of our amazing incentives for upcoming runs. Did you say Thaumadin? Like TH, right? Yeah, Thaumadin. Thank you. He is actually uh, the guy um, who made the load remover for this game. Amazing Ooh. guy, and uh, I've had to work with him a lot uh, in all three HD games to uh, get a load remover working for all of them. He's an uh, absolutely fantastic person, so thank you. I appreciate that. Support means a lot. Yeah, and, a hefty, and a hefty donation of that. I think that, that deserves one of these. So we've done a lot of work for NST. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, closing in on Crash 2, uh, it's been, been a ride. It's been fun. I mean, in all honesty, besides um, the, the trip, it's actually kind of crazy. Your deaths, like your bad deaths have been with triple masks. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's, been, it's been a weird run. Yeah, but bes I mean, besides those, um, those two triple mod deaths and like the, the minor things, it's honestly a very strong run. Yeah. Like, Merc has... Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, and as he mentioned earlier too, uh, two and three, very similar in movement, and Merc has honestly did an amazing job in showcasing the movement. It's very exciting now for Crash 3, because my man is all warmed up, ready to go for his favorite Crash game, so we're, we're gonna be having a good showcase for Crash 3. I wonder if I missed any crystals, so that, that would be uh, a way to end the run, just oh, yeah. missing a crystal and having to redo a level. Uh, if this run wasn't already weird enough, we'd have yeah, to redo it. It has happened. Uh, it wouldn't be the first time that has happened. Because you kind of you kind of forget about the objective at times. You would just move past because you kind of you kind of always get them right. Uh, you don't really think about them that much. So we will see. If Cortex talks to us now, then we're good to go. And if he doesn't, then oh, okay. well, we're good to go. All right, final boss of Crash 2. This is a uh, kind of anticlimactic, I guess. <laughs> the, the the point of this uh, boss is we're actually using our jetpack again, and we have to uh, chase Cortex and cut lines to catch up to him and spin him. The, he doesn't really put up much of a fight. The, the rocks are probably the most devastating thing in this fight, and uh, being stationary objects, they're, they're not going to be doing too much. The Merkaz is just going to be getting in front of him, cutting his lines, and spinning him whenever he uh, gets nearby. Keep an eye on the timer, just the... Uh... Okay, it's fine. There we go, GG. Let's crash two. One more to go. That was a 141 yeah. I think, yeah. And we're in more than enough time. So uh, while I switch game here, you can get one fast donation in. Yeah, first off, that will be a 49.18 for crash two. Oh, okay. Solid run, solid run. I uh, I want to hear an awe from the chat for this nation. We have T-Bolt with $10, and I fully agree with this. Murkass and Logic are cute. Aww. Oh. Thank you, T-Bolt. Thank you for that donation, T-Bolt. Thank you so much. Let's okay. Um, Crash 3 starts off really intensively. Uh, okay. Logic, do you want to explain the beginning of it? I'm just going to say that I'm going to glitch the menu. I'm going to do a hop slide into the level, hopefully. Uh... Yeah, so right there, uh, Merc has uh, goes to the menu to lock the camera and then get into the first level um, under pressure, I believe. Crash. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, in this level, Merc has is actually be doing a very, very difficult trick, uh, and he'll actually be clipping into the floor at the very start of the level. The corner hitboxes for these water levels are very strange, and he'll hopefully be able to, to cut in. This is uh, extremely... Oh, there we go. So now Merkaz is going to be having semi-blind movement here. The camera will be adjusting when he gets uh, somewhat near uh, inbounds. 
during the skip, he's going to have to blindly grab the pink crystal and then hit the end level ball. I'm going to stay a bit quiet because the Mercus can use some audio cues. Oh, very nice. God. Very nice. Oh. <laughs> very, very nice. That trick. Oh, that is so reset heavy and so annoying to do. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm really happy about that. Yeah, that was a very, very clean showing. Getting into the that like uh, out of bounds is very difficult as it is. But the fact Murkat very cleanly uh, did a semi-blind movement to get the crystal and hit that ball. I don't know in, how many uh, tries that was. Four? I think th it was four. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> four is not... That would maybe be something I would keep in a run. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it's extremely reset heavy. So, uh, yeah, I'm happy about that. Sometimes it can just take you forever. Uh, it's like a newer, a lot newer trick. So, um, and we're all, there has been streams uh, where I've literally just sat in that level for the entire day. Yeah. Uh, that, that was a crowdy special. Everywhere. Everyone yeah. was like, oh, new skip, nice. And then they do it. Like, wow, I really hate crowdy. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, it, is, it is something I would really only recommend at like, the highest level of this game. Because uh, it is not worth putting yourself through. In the, even if it is the first level, like resetting that much in the beginning is not going to be a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Shoutouts to Silver. He recently started learning this game, and that was the first thing he learned. <laughs> oh, oh my! He start. Oh, I, I hope he's. I hope he's got thick skin. Honestly, that's that's gonna be a rough time. So, into my, into my strong game. So hopefully, if you think the two other runs were uh, decent, then this will be the, the one I'm very confident is. This will be the fourth time I've shown this at ESA. I think <laughs> already for three or four. Oh, I usually go for that mask, but now I have trip. Uh, now I have double, so I do not want that. So there was another triple stack hob slide. I will use that to just go through most of this, reapply it, uh, use the height, just go to the side of these lava pits. They're way less scary than the holes. Yeah, uh, um, easily. It's kind of crazy because, uh, as was Merkaz stated, the movement from 2 and 3 is very similar. But you're going to see Merkaz hitting a majority of these hop slides, if not all of them, just because of his uh, his consistency in this game. It is honestly amazing. And I also forgot how much of a bop NST3 has yeah, I to think Toad Village into to this. Yeah, I think, it's, uh, I, think it's, uh, I think it's the better ones for sure. <laughs> yeah. Other than like Toxic Waste and Cortex 1, those are the ones that I like. Crash 2, I'm not a big fan of. But uh, people will... Obviously, you know, hate me for that. So <laughs> there you see, as the title level of the level appears um, on top of the screen, I switched to Coco by pressing R2. Uh, and if you've ever played the game, you know that if you go into a level where you're forced to play as Coco, like these levels, Crash will do like a body slam animation into the portal and uh, it will take time before Coco enters. Uh, what we do skips that animation, we just like switch the character as you enter. It switches the animation, or it, it skips the animation and saves like five-ish seconds uh, per level. So per level you do that, which is gonna be a total of five, uh, five during yeah. the run. So 25 seconds overall. Wait, oh, is it? Five levels or five yeah, seconds? Yeah, five okay. levels, five right. levels where you will do that. <laughs> yeah. So it is a, a massive time save, and obviously, is this count as a vehicle level? Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So uh, ve vehicle levels uh, in Crash Three are kind of the um, there's one or one or two of them in uh, every stage. I think uh, two being engine. Uh, you mean like the warp, the fourth warp room? Yeah. Fourth. Uh, there's two in. I'm trying to think. Uh, there's two in every warp room, but the third and fourth. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, right, right. So it, it, there's there's a lot. It, it, again, as we mentioned, it's an acquired taste, but um, even in the vehicle levels, there's some really good movement. So you're gonna see Merc as here kind of strafing left and right. He actually gets a a good boost in forward momentum when he does this, and so he wants to be um, again holding his lines, making sure he gets a 
he's able to skip all these. He actually wants to also keep his mask, which is uh, semi-important for the upcoming levels. Hopefully, I mostly needed to damage abuse here, and then yeah. from there, it's it, it it's fine if I lose them. Preferably keep them, but it's fine if I lose them because Crash Tree gives you a lot of options. Thankfully, yeah. uh, strafing like this, I don't know like why it's. Like, I know why it's faster, but we don't have, like, a consistent way of, like, doing that. What makes it faster, which is, like, the waves. You see the waves, like, turning back and forth. Those is, like, kind of what we're trying to hit to make it go faster. It saves, like, 0.5 during the level. <laughs> so it's not much. If you want to read a donation now, now's the perfect time. Yes, I do. I have half lift with $10. It says, not just the jetpack levels, but Crash 2 in general is my kryptonite. Good luck with the rest of the room, Mercats. Thank you for that, half lift. Thank you, half lift. Be sure to read, put those towards the incentives, everyone, because we have a ton of them coming up and a ton of amazing choices to choose from, including a gothic boy bid war coming up for the language. Get them going. Did I forget the crystal? I did not, right? No. No. Oh, I was okay. like... Uh, Dude, you scared me. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I, I <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, by Tiny. So now we're going to be doing a, a trick called a gate clip. Uh, ooh. I messed up. Yeah. So uh, I'll, I'll give Merka some silence here. Just to let him... Yeah, that's good. All right, we're good. Um, so uh, that's why I said we won't be seeing Tiny again. Mm -hmm. uh, we just skipped him yep. uh, with glitching the menu, which I failed the first time. Uh, and then I had to redo it. Doesn't lose that much, lose like five, uh, which is fine. Um, I don't really know how to explain it. We glitched the menu in the background, and somehow Coco can walk through walls. <laughs> uh, She's just that powerful, bro. Yeah, we're going to be using that one more time. Oh, oh okay. So I'm gonna try and keep this boost, the dream through boost, the, through the entirety of this level. Uh, you kind of have to like do a what's it called? Needle thread hairpin. Uh, it's thread threading the needle, yeah. Yeah, threading needle through like the police cars and a everyone did it as a kid too. They they, they were like scoot to the left and right of the police cars. And, yeah. And it's very important because uh, when you hit the when you hit the boost pad, you keep the boost unless you take a little bit of a nudge or go off a ramp and so Merc has it extremely well there dodging all the police cars not easy at all to do and hopefully he'll be doing that often obviously there will be some mandatory ramps but he'll be trying to hold boost as much as he can so the requirement um the actual requirement for the, those motorcycle levels is to get first place if you don't get first place you don't get the crystals mm -hmm. uh the only one where that's like even slight an issue is uh, level 14, Road Crash. Uh, hopefully that won't be an issue for us. Yeah. It, it rarely is, but... Yeah. So, this is a very uh, special case of doing hob slides, because I would have to, do, I have to do a special height hob slide where I have to like, my timing has to be a bit different on some, I guess you would call them limestone bricks. That's might that might be wrong though. I, I have actually no clue. These bricks coming down here. Oh, uh, well, limestone. And very very like specific. I was just calling them big stones. <laughs> and I did miss it. That's like a five second loss to a cycle. It's a, unfortunate, but sometimes you get a flat spin like I did. But uh, I'll try to get it once more at the end of this level. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's my. Uh, I don't know why I said limestone. Okay, I made that jump. That jump gets scarier the further behind the cycle you are, by the way, and uh, that's why it was so scary. Oh, Ooh, I'm boy. just... Uh, Gee, yeah, that was sketchy here. Yeah, that was uh, not the greatest uh, tomb time, to be honest. That probably lost me like eight seconds. <laughs> yeah, the cycle, uh, for this level, cycles really come into play. And as you saw, Merc has kind of had a little uh, trip up at the beginning, which then dominoed throughout the entire level, so... Hitting those hop slides and you know keeping your movement clean is still very important in Crash 3, which doesn't really prioritize cycle-based levels. There's always a couple lying around that you have to manage, especially later on. Like Warp 4 and 5 are insane when it comes to cycles, but other than that, there's not. There's a few, but second Tiger level, uh, 
I'm gonna try and glitch Coco here. Uh, doing it is actually really bad because I might miss the crystal, but it looks really funny, so I kind of want to show it. I, I think we have time in the estimate if we, if we miss the crystal, so I think it's worth. Yeah, we have more than enough time, I think. Let's see. I'm not getting it. Uh, you can read the donation now, Nashlex, if you have. Shout out to my girl Coco. I have a $200 donation Woo! by Anonymous here. That is insane. That says, Merc, great run so far. Thanks for showing off uh, NST in such a fun and incredibly skilled way. All that swimming paid off. <laughs> it definitely did. Definitely did. Thank you, too. Whoever that was, I really appreciate it. Yeah, that is. What a generous donation. Yeah, that is insane. Thank you so much for the kind words for Merkaz. Merkaz has really done an amazing job today. Very talented runner, so I'm very happy that he's uh, he's showing up for the ESA. We haven't actually talked about the the crystal animation. Um, oh yeah. When you use Coco, there's a chance she will like pull the crystal from her back, like you just saw her do. That loses me 0.6 seconds and makes me very mad. And that is the that is the <laughs> reasoning behind why I don't like Coco. <laughs> the backstory. Mm -hmm. get sees blood in his eyes, goes for the kill on Coco. Whenever <laughs> you see that that 0.6, oh Jesus. It does not add up to that much over the run. It adds up to three if like you get every bad animation, which is unlikely. There's a 33% chance. Uh, but uh, that doesn't mean I like it when it happens. I love to. I I saw you visibly react as well. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to, to a point six disgust like, in my <laughs> eyes when she pulls it behind her back. <laughs> I'm just chanting internally, Crody, Crody. <laughs> so uh, this these are probably my favorite kind of theme of levels. The music and the layout is honestly very fun in a speedrun because there aren't too many death pits and the enemy position is in a in a fun way I'll say because the hop slides. Um, are viable and actually not too hard and fun to do because you, you can you have the choice to bob and weave through enemies without it being like insane so that's a very good showing of that level so now we're gonna see like the first or now we're gonna see a classic case of uh hang rails bad mm -hmm. uh like in hanging out where we use triple mass to skip them here i want to use triple mass to go faster on them oh very clean there And mask management once again being extremely important. Uh, as you can see, the, the mask boost we get is just insane. And uh, I f Ooh, that was good. Okay, Whew. that was risky, but that was good. Yeah. So triple mask movement once again being a very strong factor. So knowing if you did good movement here or not is dependent on if you can go past the scorpion. And we made it with flying colors. Now I'm gonna do a little cheeky jump up there. We haven't. Have we explained glitch high jump? I don't think we have. I don't think we did. No. It's a slide jump spin, so not a slide spin jump like a hop slide. Oh, nitro bounce. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and it gives you momentum, like more upwards momentum. And um, that is used in the boss we're doing now uh, to like kind of just make him trivial. Um, it's, it's called a glitch high jump. But in this version, it's not glitched. In the original version, it was glitched. In this version, they kept it in because it became such a staple of like Crash 2 and 3 um, that they decided to make it a thing in this as well. And I honestly don't know what the game would be without, so I'm really glad they did. So this boss is pretty trivial. You basically just want to get into uh, the middle to hit Dingo Dial and then get out for the explosion. No, Ca uh, casually you'd want him to. Oh god, okay, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, as logic was about to say, casually you want to wait for him to like. He will shoot up in the air a bit and try to hit you, and then he will like blast through this crystals. Uh, if you wonder why I'm waiting, it's because it's not hittable until later on. Uh, so yeah, I just jump over and skip it completely. Um, the portal always spawns exactly where I'm standing right now, so uh, it's gonna spawn and pick me up. Nice. That is the 12th boss? 11th, if you count. We skipped Tiny that we've done today. Uh, so now we move on to the Warp of Death. Oh, yes. My dream's come to die. <laughs> the amount of runs lost to this warp is... Uh, well, 
yeah, sad. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, so I really want this triple mask. This triple mask is so important. Uh, and you will see why, because you can't actually, you cannot actually go to the side of a lot of these lava pits. I'm going to try and get a hop side here from that lava pit. Just like in the previous level of this design, there aren't really too many things that can stop Merkaz from maintaining this hop slide. So with the triple mask, uh, we're just going to go over as many lava pits as it can. Skipping this dragon here and opting for the hop slide. Honestly, a very strong hop slide. He's still going with it too. He's still going. <laughs> And this is all chained. If I drop it once, it's gone. Yeah, I'm just kind of an all. I'm just kind of an all right now. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, taking it to the crystal is honestly super impressive. Uh, on average, you'd probably drop the hop slide when you lose triple mask. I'm gonna uh, go for the gold cycle here. Oh. I don't know if I'm on. Oh, I'm not on time. Okay, oh. that's uh, okay. Oh, well, I was on time, but I messed up the movement. So that is. This means I'm on really good. Pay. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, that's fine. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I walked on lava for a bit there. Well, you know, we take what we get. Like, it's, Thanks, it's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, very strong hop slides at the beginning. The fact that he, he even could go for God Cycle is very impressive. Very, very strong hop slides. I'm actually going to do... I'm actually going to do this. And then... We're doing a bit of a... We're doing a bit of a rerouting here. Um, because of how how this has gone. So I'm gonna try and... I'm gonna try and do a god cycle in a very, very, very scary level. Uh, and things might go really badly there. So if it goes badly, I would like to have... Oh, well, I bumped into him. So if it goes badly uh, in that level, I will have it for... Um, I will have two chances to get masks because I really need those masks. But that level is so scary. It was... Um, it was a god cycle... Uh, actually found by um, multiple top level runners. One of us uh, found out that um, that a half cycle was possible, saving like a second and a half. And then it was kind of like always forgotten because it wasn't put like into an RTA viable thing until after double slides were fully implemented into the run. And then I started messing with it, couldn't make it. World record holder uh, hopped in. Uh, I'm second place holder, I don't know if I've mentioned that, but me and him and another top runner uh, spent the day trying to figure out how we could make that work. I wanted to go into the mud there, but to slow down my speed, but I had to do it around. This is like the only vehicle levels that hard, that motorcycle levels that can be hard to win. Yeah. But we uh, spent the day trying to figure out that cycle, and we did, and it's now implemented. It runs, and it scares me every single time. <laughs> Uh, it is risky, it is difficult, it looks really cool, and uh, it's just an overall beast of a cycle. Uh, every checkbox ticked for a marathon attempt then, I think. <laughs> yeah, marathon safe. <laughs> it is definitely not, but uh, I don't know, I want to go for it. You've always got you got to flex the cool stuff. Exactly. Yeah, this, this vehicle level, uh, as Merka stated, can be a bit dodgy, especially when you're bumping into a lot of things, like right at the beginning of the level. Uh, he got he bumped into the back of two cars, and then actually he was getting uh, contested by his uh, second place, what would be first uh, in the race normally, but we're all good to go. Alright, time to go for high time god cycle and high see if that works. We're just gonna skip Entropy. Entropy, best character in Crash series, by the way. Except for Crash 4, we forget about that. But yeah, <laughs> he doesn't exist in Crash 4. Um, let's see if we can make this. So I'm not too versed on God Cycle, but all we know is he's gotta go fast. And uh, hopefully... Okay. This is okay so far, but the God Cycle, like, I don't know if I've hit it until, like, the entire end, like, to the end of the level, so. Okay, very nice. Again, Merkaz is going to be wanting to cut corners, skip a couple of these flying carpets. He can actually jump through the flying carpets, which he's going to uh, take advantage of. Oh, That's fine. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, please make it. Nice. Okay. Oh, oh, very nice. Oh, God. Well, making that makes me happy. Yeah, oh, that was smooth. That is great. That's a very, very clean high time. If anything from this event, high time going that smoothly is definitely a W we take home. Yeah. Um, some of the things I've gotten is then this whole showcase have been uh, not expected. I don't know if I should have gone into this level first. Maybe, maybe not. But uh... So uh, this level actually showcases another uh, out of bounds. Much easier than the one in under pressure, thankfully. And uh, it will actually be a little later. First, Merkaz wants to hit this cycle here. Very nice. And then he'll uh, be carrying on through the level. And then I believe around... Uh, oh, it'll be a little further ahead. He's going to be clipping into the floor and then doing uh, some out-of-bounds movement again. I, d I don't think it's uh, s as uh, blind as uh, the first level, but it's definitely not uh, as difficult. So now that he's got the crystal, he's going to back up a little bit and then clip it to the floor. And then he's going to be darting right to the... Uh, I don't know why this is avoiding me now. This is an easier clip than the other one, and it took me more tries than the other one. Yeah. So. And thank. Hopefully we don't. Okay. There we go. So right, very nice. <laughs> that did lose me a bit of time, like getting that fourth try. Usually that is like a four, first or second try. That like, that clip is a lot easier than the other one. Um, so that was interesting. I don't know if this. I could I could get this triple mask. I've never done it. <laughs> yeah. We usually we usually don't have two masks going into this level, but uh, so uh. Well, I'm just gonna avoid this mask, probably. Uh, so right off rip, gonna be carrying a, a hop slide. Again, these levels are very nice with uh, the death pits. There aren't too many, and the enemy positions are pretty forgiving. Jump in there. Ooh, okay. So Merkaz is gonna be taking it a little safe, hugging the walls here to avoid the death pits. Doing well with the uh, hop slide so far. That. Mm. Uh, this can be a really annoying level if it like starts dropping your hop slides or spacing because you you kind of want to like go through the entire level with hop slides so if you drop a hop slide like what i did there your spacing becomes really weird and when your spacing becomes really weird it's really easy to drop it uh i have a very like set in stone rhythm that i want and places where i want to be in a specific part of the hop slide so when it's not like that i uh feel uncomfortable <laughs> still a very very strong level there and yeah the, the e with the inputs as well the rhythm that uh, you kind of have to have to, to maintain everything is very important so um entropy uh Fumbles. the second boss we're doing in this run and uh the second to last boss we're doing in this <laughs> run um there's a skip here um i want to say i don't ever fail it but uh, uh oh <laughs> uh oh. I I've said it now, haven't I? Yeah. Okay, so uh, Merkaz, as you saw, is now. It jumped uh, back to the platform and then uh, it was just hanging out behind him. He still shoots projectiles at Crash, so Merkaz has to be very careful and still move. And we got it. Oh, very okay. nice. So using the mask there to uh, take the bounce of the hit. I'll take the, take the hit for the bounce, sorry. Yeah, that's what we talked about like two hours ago, uh, where I get a bounce from getting hit by uh, an objective or like a bullet or anything. He shoots clocks and I got hit by clock and it bounces me up, which gives me enough height to clear that jump, which would not otherwise be possible. Well, let me correct myself. It is possible. It is not RTA viable. Yeah. <laughs> at all. Uh, Crody's going to tell me it is RTA viable, uh, but... Uh, no. <laughs> More DMs. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is one of those levels where, like, I would say uh, if you had, like, a million donations, that still wouldn't be enough to fill how boring this level is. <laughs> but uh, read whatever you have now, thanks. <laughs> uh, let, let me just start by saying that I've been absolutely enjoying the heck out of this immense like trilogy run it's been absolutely a pleasure to just watch this just getting my memories just crushed as a kid from <laughs> struggling to get through any of these levels at all and just seeing you cruise through them in less than three hours no less 
It's uh, It's been a blast. I have a few donations for you. I have Anonymous here with five dollars that I... Uh, thank you for that one. And I have Cameron Vengeance 73 Do you guys know that one? Yep. Yeah. Right. Good old Cam. I, for ten dollars that says, can you play Tell No Tales twice? <laughs> please? No. Please? Uh, he's saying please, Mike. Yeah. Uh, no. He's, he's saying please. He's saying please. He's almost groveling at this point. He uh, <laughs> he's on his knees, Mark. Come on. What are you doing? You gotta go. <laughs> I, uh, I I rather not. This level uh, <laughs> this level is not that enjoyable. <laughs> you know, how under a small bit? You know what? Yeah. You're being a bad guy. Man. I mean, I could <laughs> play it five times, but I'm not going. To. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting messages in my ear that say please no. Yeah. <laughs> P.S. Tell my best friend Logic that he is looking mighty snazzy today. Thank Good luck. Thank Good luck you, to you Cam. both. I agree. Thank you, Cam and Cutie. Also, I would just want to say quickly, I could go for like a cannonball strat. We just call it the cannonball, uh, where you like hug the inner right when going around that boat. But uh, I was a bit behind, so I didn't want to go for it. And it does mess up a trick later in the run, so I don't want to do it. So yeah, you can fit in another donation if you have, or just whatever. I, uh, I'm going to actually go ahead, because we have a very long level ahead of this. I know this stuff. We have Professor Thomas D Dyerborg uh, that has an important quote here, because we're here because of the Alzheimer fondant that says, First, I would like to thank all of you for your generous support of our research of the brain's inflammatory cells, the so-called myglioglia cells, and their role in the Alzheimer's disease. In the recent years, more and more research has shown that these cells play a crucial role in the development of the Alzheimer's disease. We hope to find new ways to influence these microglial cells to help the aging brain not to suffer from dementia. So every donation helps. Thanks everyone so much for donating, especially during this trilogy run. It's been an absolute blast just being here. Mark has done a great job on the uh, trilogy run, honestly. Very, very strong showing. That was so. a very big bad start to a very yeah. hard level, so... So this this level, again, leans towards the cycle side of, uh, of levels. And Merc has actually got the um, the spin ability, which will actually hold his momentum and give him a speed boost if okay. he hits the ground. Very, very That was nice. so close. That was yeah. way too close for comfort. Mm -hmm. So the gimmick of this level is Crash will drown if the water is raised while he's uh, on the ground floor. So you have to use uh, metal boxes or platforms to get away from it. Again, Merc has actually had a little bit of a stumble at the beginning of the level. And the fact that he has he st uh, still hit the cycle is extremely impressive, honestly. It's not an easy thing to do. Hitting the cycle alone is like a very difficult feat, and the fact Merc has did it on a handicap, basically, is another risky part. Yeah. Using these two boxes to maintain his height, and then triple spin to the staircase. Oh, very nice. And the last part. Mm -hmm. Every part of this level scares me. Yep. So he has to be very careful not to blow up the TNT here with his spin. Very nice. Yeah, I actually want these two masks. They are really important, so I can't lose it at any point. Yeah, it's a very good level. Very cycle heavy. Merc has done an amazing job hitting all three. That was another god cycle, so uh, yeah. that was really good. Pretty really happy about this Crash 3 run, except for a few hiccups. It's really, really good. Yeah, I was going to say, very, very strong. Uh, showing so far. Hopefully it continues, I say so far, but I know. I believe I believe a Merc has to carry this one to the end with flying colors. Beginning of this level can be a bit scary. Um, we'll see. Okay, so thanks to the uh, the intense spin, the hop slides are actually changed by a little bit and this will be our uh, one of our main forms of movement thanks to the speed boost. And uh, Merc has his timing these spins very carefully. Obviously, he wants to keep these masks for later in the level. So, did a very good job at still holding forward as in a crash game as you should, but still managing to avoid all the active hitboxes flying around him. You can see Crash like stumble a bit there, and you can wonder, can he fall off? Yes. Yes, yeah. he can fall off. <laughs> uh, you're not supposed to be able to fall off, and it's a run killer if it does, and but it's always funny. It, oh, it's only happened to me once, so... But yeah, uh, hop slides, I guess we didn't talk about that, I didn't even think about that. Um, guys, I've been at ESA four times, if you haven't seen by now, it's... <laughs> <laughs> no, um, Do your research, look back. <laughs> uh, this is mock tornadoes. Like, you get the death tornado spin uh, after beating Entropy, which uh, switches out our abilities to do hop slides. Uh, and now you, we can do mock tornadoes as well. They cannot be chained, but they can be done on flat ground. So they have a benefit and they have uh, something that... They have both a benefit and a negative effect. 
different way to play the game, if you will. Yeah. It's, it just so happens to be that none of the levels that we are doing, like from after Entropy, actually benefits from the hop slide more than the Mock Tornado. Because we could skip it, technically. But we ob obviously also don't want to do that. Why do I... I'm so... What happened? I... I... <laughs> I'm stupid. Oh, uh, I was not supposed to damage abuse that last enemy. Uh, I usually never have masks go like at that point. So I usually never. I don't know why I did that. I would wanted to use a mask for this level, but um, well, we don't have it, so we can't use it. But I'm still gonna. I'm still gonna showcase. Oh, Jesus! That was scary. Uh, I'm still gonna showcase a glitch in this level. Um, so uh, it turns out that. You can just <laughs> jump on top of the floor uh, or the ceiling. So you can just uh, mock tornado over here um, and just move along the side. As we mentioned before with mock tornado, uh, tornadoes being the most advantageous on flat surfaces, being in this position is just a straight path. You don't have to worry about any obstacles. The ramps being the only change in terrain. So Merkaz is able to change some really nice mock tornadoes. Albeit semi-blind, because uh, he needs to make sure that his inputs are correct, so he yeah. just fly off. You can't fall off, by the way. Oh, you can't? Okay. No. Oops. <gasps> that is interesting. I was mid-spin. That is really bad. That is like a good minute death. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's heartbreaking. I'm, um, wow. Uh, so that, that happens because uh, sometimes, like, when I spun the mummy like that, um... Uh, it uh, decided that, you know, I have invisibility frames now, so even if you're spinning, you're dead. Mm -hmm. uh, very sad. Uh, that is a heartbreaking death. That is yeah. really... Uh, that, that is a, an unfortunate stain on a, on a really good crash through, uh, crash through run. Yeah, that could have been a really good pace. Or that should have been a really good pace uh, until that point. But uh, still pretty good. Dude, I don't blame you if you're taking your time on him, like, honestly. <laughs> yeah, wait it now. Because uh, obviously when you do that, you don't um, you don't get any checkpoints. So if you die, it's all the way back. Uh, very unfortunate. Uh, a bit sad about that, but uh, it is what it is. Yeah. Honestly, that you, you can't really blame the runner too much on that one because visually, it, you know, Mercats definitely should have... Um, you are in the spin, uh, and yeah. sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. Uh, I should have been... I, I knew that was a possibility, so I should have been careful about it. But, uh, you know, it happens. Yeah. I'm gonna be spamming here a bit. Because uh, if you spam, you shoot a bit faster. The gimmick of the level is just to shoot down the uh, Cortex Blimps. You can kind of get rattled by these uh, plane enemies if you are either not quick enough or don't dodge enough, but Merkaz is a speedrunner. So I'm gonna use the 3D environment here to move a bit closer to like the left blimp. You're hitting that button like it owes you money. Yeah. It's uh, like you were, you were let, let him have it. Jeez. <laughs> I'm also playing on a I'm playing on a brand new controller, so uh, it's like not like played in yet, so it's a bit awkward. It's it's gonna be played in for sure after this run. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, they're you know Coco being Coco oh, again, and I'm. No. Uh... All right, so the hard gate clip, which can soft lock the game now. Oh yeah. Uh... I'll give some silence for this one. Okay, we're good. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Oh. So yeah, that is a very, very dangerous... Like, at the end of the run, having a, a gate clip like that is very scary. But you do blind movement out of bounds, which if you fall off, uh, you soft lock. Yep, that's GG. Um, it's a very big run killer. That is the whole reason I have... Um, Maybe if you saw me, every time I would start a new, like start a run, the three times I've done, I've had the override new save thing. That is, um, that is autosave. 
That is the only reason why I have auto save on. Mm -hmm. Having auto save on actually loses a bit of time in this uh, game. Loses like 0.6 per time, so it's like I've lost two seconds doing it, around two seconds doing it. But uh, the potential of like the the marathon run being dead is not something I'm gonna do. Yeah. There's absolutely no way to save it if you fail it. So, or you can load a file, but if you don't have a file where it's already set, then. All right, four more levels in the boss. Um, yeah, happy about this crash four. Or crash four. Crash four. Crash yeah, three crash, run. Crash four after this run. Yeah. Hello, uh, let's go. <laughs> uh, maybe in the future. Uh, ESA summer. Yeah. Hold on. No. <laughs> so I have to play Crash Four. Oh, no. <laughs> Fog. <laughs> um. Other than that, Sphinxinator death. This is probably like not. If not for that, this would probably be pretty close to my PB, which is a really good time. Yeah. So. Um, I think in, in regards to uh, player performance, this this run has been extremely good. Uh, I like it's uh, half blame for that Sphinx and Aya death, like because um, obviously they had the the foresight, but he shouldn't have gotten uh, killed by that money. Very unfortunate to be able. That's a superb job for uh, for this crash tree run, and all the runs in general have been very strong. I'm fairly certain, if I'm not completely mistaken though, I'm fairly certain this is on full trilogy PB pace for sure. Oh. Uh, Don't curse it, man. Don't yeah. curse it. The, the beast hears, brother. I wouldn't. Um, I wouldn't know until later. Oh. Okay, I won't okay. be able to make that. This is a really bad level, but uh, I was, I was falling a bit behind, so that's what happened. Um. Yeah, this has been pretty solid. A few, a bad start to Crash One. Otherwise, a good Crash One. Got to show off glitches. Got to have a lot of fun. Um, I'm actually surprised the audience is as full as it is compared, like, with how uh, late this run or it started at 7 a.m. I was being late. Awake. How are you guys? <laughs> early, 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 early. Well, it depends. You showing well, your true colors for, here, man. Uh, for some people, it's late, right? Um. Really nice seeing seeing people again. Not that I've not seen people in two years, but you guys know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> it's just been a really nice event. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, check out the runs of the people before me. Every single one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Rewatch all of ESA twice. All of it. Uh, it's been really good. Um, there's a few runs to watch out for in the future as well. Uh, all of them. You know, <laughs> don't, don't skip any. But, uh, yeah, a few runs I would uh, especially look out for is uh, the ending run, Deo Man, Spyro 1, 20%. Uh, Spyro Crash, kind of close community. Can't wait to uh, to see that. Always an entertaining guy. Um, and other than that, we're just finishing up this run with the last three levels. Oh, we got the snipe here. So these last levels kind of blend mechanics from levels that we've seen with the uh, the Firefly and just the like the indoor outdoor kind of aesthetic. Uh, thanks to the uh, Mark Tornado, Murkats is going to be attempting to to nail as many as he can. Damage abuse to keep the door open there. Yeah. Because uh, you know that mass doesn't really matter because there's three right here. <laughs> uh. And I'm gonna do another damage abuse uh, really soon, but first I'm gonna try and make this door cycle ahead here. I think we're looking on good base here. Ooh. Yeah, by a mile. Yeah, country mile there. Damage abuse to keep the door open yet again, because mm -hmm. that mask is uh, not very useful. Skipping the checkpoint. Yeah, that ballsy move. I yeah, that say. might not have been great. Okay. Just don't miss this jump. Okay. Whew. I almost did actually. Yeah, that uh, no, was uh, scary. scary. <laughs> um, You're saving the frames, bro. It's all good. <laughs> all right. Gone tomorrow. We're all still here tomorrow, right? It's not over yet. <laughs> still got a lot of ESA to go through. Uh, gone tomorrow. Cycle heavy, another god cycle here, and another god cycle in Flaming Passion. Two uh, pretty heavy, intense runs at the end of the run. Um, 
They've killed so many runs, not just for me, but for every runner. Okay, very nice. Th these levels are definitely the best for Mark Tornado, but these beefy enemies are testing Merkaz and holding Mark Tornado, and also kind of uh, holding the, the curves and the sides of the arena. I thought I didn't make that B, actually. Okay. Uh, or robot. We call them Bs. Um, I don't know why. Do they? It does does like everyone else think they look like bees? Yeah, uh, yellow and black, you know. So, yeah, they're yellow and ba black, and they like sting you. I and guess. They're and they're annoying. So. <laughs> yeah, with these sideways levels again, uh, Merkaz knows what's coming up, but trying to be optimal in these levels can be a little little scary because a Mark tornado without really comprehending on what's coming up might lead to. Uh, a lost mask or even a death. I'm a bit behind here. Yeah. Oh. I lost that. Uh, I don't think I'm able to catch the cycle here due to that. Mm. Uh, and I don't have a mask for flaming passion, which is so oh, scary. Yes. Yeah, so now that you mentioned it. Can I make this? Oh. oh the All right. Jesus. I did make. I did make the god cycle. Mark has my god, man. I should not have gone for that. That yeah. was really Dude, stupid my to go heart for. Broke. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh. What are, you, I, what are you doing to me so early in the morning, man? <laughs> I should not have gone for that, but I did. Oh. And it worked out, so uh, here we are. You gotta make up for this Sphinx and they death. It's gonna if, go crazy. If that was a PB attempt, I would not have made it. For sure. Flaming Passion. Um, potentially the hardest level in the run at this point. Um, no mask, too. The last level. So, no mask, no safety. This is where boys become men. This level. I know Merkaz is going to do a good job. Again, this level is pretty cycle dependent with these carpets. Merkaz is going to try and be sure to hold as many Mark Tornadoes as he can. But also be careful not to overdo it. Because uh, if he overdoes it and sends himself into the flames or into any of the enemies on the way. Okay. I, 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 uh, I opted out of that. Yeah, no, that's, so, fine. Uh, that's fine. That isn't. This is going to be second cycle, but. Um... Yeah, no, no uh, respect lost for that uh, that backup there. You don't really for this level. You, oh, I'm gonna. Oh make yeah, this, dude. Yeah. I was, I do, oh, my heart skipped a beat for that for a moment there. I, I thought I tried getting it with the like glitch high, but I couldn't. No, I'm scared. I'm scared. Uh, get me out. <laughs> leave the level. <laughs> get leave, me leave, out. Leave, leave. <laughs> dude, I, I love you. Were saying like oh, this level's like super hard, but no mask and skips all the checkpoints. Uh, <laughs> I was so scared. You had me so worried for a second. All right. The last boss. Yep. Um, I'm gonna be playing it a bit safe. I don't wanna. I just wanna finish the run clean here. I'm gonna. This is a bit of an auto scroller. Uh, so any last donations? Now's the time. I have one ready for you. But first, thank you so much for having me on the on for this run again. It's been an absolute blast to just get a nostalgia trip again, and uh, it's been an honor to uh, to keep coming back uh, to host your runs. It's been uh, it's been great. I have Crasho. 725 for $20 it says, hey all, first time watching and donating. That crash run is absolutely amazing. Thanks to everyone for making this event. I, uh, I virtually wave my hand to the crowd, so I'm doing <laughs> it for you. <laughs> Wish you all the best. And that's going to the San Andreas, any percent, no magic, just definitive upgrade. And we need a lot of money for that, so keep them coming everyone. We can make 47k and beat ESA Winter 2021. Let's get it going. Come on, finish it up, Merkaz. Thank you. Um, so yeah, this has been the entire trilogy from uh, me and Logic with commentary. You, thank you for doing an amazing job with commentary. I am. I'm, oh yeah, yeah. We'll uh, we'll hit the button. I might have to push yeah, yeah. over for you, Merkaz. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll hit the button when, yeah. it's when it happens. Um, still like another minute or so left um it's been yeah an amazing journey and i want to thank uh everyone in the crash community i want to especially thank crody for everything he does uh amazing guy thank you everyone for the donations during my run uh wonderful to have nash Tax again uh hopefully it's a tradition that continues if i get a, another run in uh logic for commentary and um uh, everyone from being so kind during my run and uh, I'm glad I got to show this off.
Uh, now Cortex is throwing his last mines. Okay. And then right. we're gonna wait a bit. Yeah. We actually have a little bit of RNG to end the run on. Uh, we'll see where the shoes spawn on my yeah. opposite side. Oh, okay. you, you have to get the shoes to spawn the pool. But. And... Time. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Uh, I want to quickly say uh, my mother had birthday a few days ago. Happy birthday to her. Uh, I think she's watching. Uh, she's the greatest supporter, my friends. Uh, everyone who donated, again, thank you so much this run. Uh, everyone who helped make this run what it is today, the entire full trilogy. I think that might be a PB, but I will have to come back Ooh. to you all later. Uh, Let's give it up to Mama Merkaz and the potential <laughs> PB guys. One more of these. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you for having the ESA. No, thank you. That was a 228. I think you're 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 very close to PB. Even the maybe even a world record if you retime it correctly. Maybe maybe. I, I might have yeah. did a sneak peek there. It <laughs> depending on the loads, maybe, but I doubt it. Oh. All right, everyone. After this amazing legend Murkaz is exiting the stage, we have another legend coming for you. We have the king, the champion, the maybe maybe champion of crowd control here. We have Black Tested coming up <laughs> in a moment. So don't go anywhere, everyone. After a quick intermission, we'll be back here with ESA Winter 22.